Yo, I finally have my new ship here. I just need to kill 15 ships in space for that thing and I may or may have not killed a friendly ship that got me a bounty. So I guess I need to get a bounty now. But damn that is big and then we're gonna fly with that cool thing towards the next mission i just i just need your bounty and i don't know how that's gonna work out for me but it's the morasme it's big it's good how much money do i have normally enough for the bounty yeah yeah i just have too little of a crew with me i'm getting scanned in here no boy that's gonna be bad let's spring hey! through quickly hey you you have a minute damn it that's the sprinting through quickly part. And yeah, my game still stutters. Oh my god, it's bad. I need to talk to you. No. You're the one that was on Vectera, right? Uh, oh. You flew in on the uh, frontier. Yes, that's right. I have a different ship now, but that's accurate. <laughs> oh. Excellent. So glad I caught you. Tell me a bit low. SSNN Research... Intern. Word is the Frontier was involved in an attack? It's true, right? You saw some real action? You wanna join me? I need good people. Crimson Fleet attacked us. If that's what you mean by action. Oh, this is great! Great! Uh, my boss, Nadia Mufaz, would kill to talk to you! An actual eyewitness! Oh. Uh, there's credits in it for credible newsworthy information. Sure. Uh, I'll take the money and move and on, please. And easy money, too. Just mm -hmm. go to the SSNN building. It's not far. Keep yeah. it up, Tommy. You're killing him. Yeah. Thanks. Where the hell am I? It's, can I get to the well from here? No, oh, there. I have a bounty. Don't scare Tommy, me. Scanned as you enter the city. Please. I have a bounty. I have a bounty. I'm gonna clear it. It's gonna be gone in a second, don't you worry. Jameson merchandise. Was that the building? No. Still don't, still don't, still don't, still don't. Still don't, still don't, still don't, like your mother. Still Howdy. Don't. I've downloaded mods that downgraded my graphics. So it runs better. <laughs> Works. <laughs> Works. Uh, uh, okay. I... Oh, God damn it! I can't pay that bounty. Damn it, I need to talk to security to pay that bounty. Hello. Orange control specialist. And you are? Outpost engineer and I don't need you. What is orange control? You control those oranges? Starship engineer. I feel like everybody had two to three skills. Do you have room for one more on your crew? Uh, actually, I can get Vasco. I just remembered that. I believe I can get Vasco. Damn it, I need to clear my bounty first. And I will do that. Then I can go survey a planet. I think everybody's here for after all. On the survey sky. Service sky. Yep, the service survey guy. It's my job here in the universe. I serve planets. Because my game can handle that. Stood up, stood up, stood up. Apropos Dr. Royce handling. at the Dawn's Roost. Servers have good memories by trade. You'll remember the pub. What? Wait. You're on the wanted list. Yeah, I killed someone by accident. Orders. You're coming with me. Prepare for immediate transport to our vessel. Okay. Uh, are you going to tell me what's going on here? I've been authorized to inform you that you're being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. So, okay. Smart decision. Stand by to be transferred. I don't know what that means, dude. Set mission. Well done. Guess that ship, that one guy that I killed to get my <laughs> fleet, my new ship, my homestead ship, out of the locker room, wasn't quite worth it, and there's the stutter.
see when the loading screen ends. It doesn't look good for me. Am I getting executed? I'm you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts a criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. What? Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest. I'll be right back. Can I move to the left, move to the right? You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. Like it's all right. The prisoner is ready, sir. Is that a side quest now? Hello. I hope you're comfortable. We have a lot to discuss. Oh god damn. Yep, there's no fixing that stutter. With mods, I've tried it all now. It's it's just let me pay my fine so I can get out of here. Not this time. Oh. So let me see what we're working with here. Hmm. Looks like you spent some time dabbling in xenobiology. It's pretty far from what we deal with around here, but you'll fall in line. I also see that you've mined on Vectera, and now you're with Constellation. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. Oh. Let's get to the point. I will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce myself. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande, and I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? No. Why don't you tell me? UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff. We deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. Mm. That convict is where you enter the picture. Oh, okay, let me guess. Infiltrating. Oh, if whatever you sound lets me off the hook, then I'm listening. Smart decision. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years. Trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratched the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Okay, I I killed them left and right. I should be capable of doing that. Uh, undercover? Oh no, you want me to risk one I can go undercover for you? Not for me. For yourself. Oh. Look. <laughs> I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UC Sysdev, and together we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Oh, you bastard. You can't get away with that. When you broke the law, you forfeited your rights. So mm. basically, I can do whatever the hell I want. So, what do you say? You going to work with me, or should I find someone else? I will kill you for that in the long term. Fine, I'm in. Smart choice. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. And don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Oh, God. Why well, am I still having my gun though? Oh. I look very motivated. Oh, I could have sworn I heard Sarah. Oh, All there right, she is. Let's go. Oh, Sarah will love this. Anything to say, girl? Been nope. along good. I don't feel like talking to so, you either. So, you took the op instead of serving the time. Gonna be the commander's new mole, huh? Going no in more. all alone. Infiltrating a bunch of pirates. You've got a lot of guts. Oh, we'll kill them Still, immediately. It makes you wonder 
Especially with the stories that go around. Pardon? Like the one about how the fleet deals with informants by lashing them to the hull of a ship and then slowly letting the air out of their suit. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine a worse way to go? I yeah. know I couldn't. Going for the but I won't worry about it. Since the commander handpicked you, I'm guessing you can hold your breath for a really long time, right? I just wanna kill all of you. And if I have the chance, I will take that. Especially when my game doesn't start up when I try to do it. Alex Vaughn. Condé's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. It's hey, like walking down the aisle. Nothing starts until you say the words. Just don't kiss the bride. What the hell are you talking about? The commander can handle any of your questions. Um. All right, this is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. I should. I kind of want to try to kill my way out of here, but Sarah won't be happy. Number one and number two. I've done every fight so far on the easiest difficulty in space. Because of stellar issues. Excuse and me. And I hate space fights. So, I don't wanna, oh, well hello there, will she hate me? <laughs> no way! <laughs> I am not- Okay, <laughs> okay, uh, she doesn't want me to, uh, not cool, there will be a long loading screen, see her when I'm back there. Oh, wait, no, no, stop it. So I'm still recording. Yes, good, good. Oh, I can't kill everyone in here. How oh, disappointing. Yes, what? Yes. Hey. The starter. Ah, there you are. Excellent. Oh, now that no. we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdev's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Mm. Oh, I wish. What every time I shoot one, it's still that's... Oh. Oh. Impressive ship, but I don't see where I fit in. Whether this ship is impressive or not, you're the key element that we've been lacking. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Uh, persuasion. Get me in a room with them and I'll talk them into anything. Good. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Borden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll oh. be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. That stuff illegal. Oh, where did you get the contraband? That's classified. Okay. Suffice to say that the smuggler who was previously holding it will be spending the rest of their life in prison. God, I don't like you. Aurora. Aurora is a Class A controlled substance that's illegal to transport outside of Neon, a city on Voli. Get caught with this stuff aboard a ship and you're looking at some serious fines. Ah, oh, so I can't even go back to Atlantis. Ah, oh, that doesn't sound like an ironclad plan to me. Well... It's the best we've got. Oh. Once you bluff your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. Okay. Point away and I get it done. Eager to get going. Good. Remember. This entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. Yeah, I just have the best companion for that. 
I'm just doing this for the money. That doesn't make any sense. Fine. Whatever gets the job done. Look, before you begin, I want to make something perfectly clear. As an undercover operative for UC Sysdef, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct and ethics. Allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Hmm. I can't make any promises. I don't want promises. I'm just asking you to think. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. She'll brief you about the details of the evidence gathering portion of the operation. Now, get out of here and good luck. Yep, Sarah's gonna love that. Oh, I don't. No, Dismissed. Okay. Yeah. Okay, time to up my social skills. Persuasion. Wait, what? Oh, damn it. Never mind. Intimidation. Oh. Okay, we got that. Bribery. Oh god damn it. Damn it! Nah, yeah, I'm just waiting with that point. Mission. Did I set the mission? Deep cover. Okay, we got no other choice. I guess we're doing that now. Phobos. Mm, Phobos! It's Phobos again now, the god of fear and panic. Got a fear and panic. Greek mythology. Mm -hmm. All right, we don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? No, I think I understand. Basically, you want me to steal from the thieves. Rationalize it however you like. But that evidence is critical to the success of Commander Akande's operation. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. I swear to God, every time I steal something, Sarah is gonna bitch around. You personal with that against them? You're damn right I do. Hmm. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. Okay. I've seen my fair share of violence. Then you'll understand why it's so important that this operation is successful. Anyway, before I let you go, there's just one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return mm. as compensation for your efforts. Good. That's very generous. It's not generous, it's motivational. Commander Akande's idea. That's a smart All right. man. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. Let's I'm do gonna it. Do that. You're dismissed. Wanna come with me? I need more company on my big ship. A five seater. You like discussing your personal experience with the Crimson Fleet? Not really. No. I've learned to keep my personal experiences separate from the job. I respect. I respect your privacy. Don't get me wrong. I appreciate that you care. It's just that I don't feel like now is an appropriate time to be discussing these things. I know. Let's just stick to the job at hand and concentrate on the mission. You're gonna but, uh, say that afterwards. Maybe we can talk about it some other time. Okay. And then we're gonna bang. Mm, what if I get caught with the container of Aurora in my cargo hold? Don't worry, the container's been registered with UC security, so you shouldn't have oh. any trouble. Even if you're scanned. 
Of course, if we find out you tried to sell it to someone outside the boundaries of this particular operation, well, I don't well, think I need to tell you the consequences of making that mistake. I did a thesis on dioastroneering stingray propulsion system in school. I did not. But if it gets my ship exploding off the line, then I'm all... We'll be here if you need us. What the hell just talked over there? Okay. Mission time. Yes, we're doing that. Why not? Sounds interesting. Damn it! Wrong button. Burden of proof. Search for evidence. Proceed to Sidonia. Wait. We're gonna go right there. No, oh, that's right around the corner. You bastards. You bastards. I need to go out okay. manually. Bye, Sarah. God damn. I've gotten Vasco for this. Yes? Murasame. Just want to fly around with my ship. Service animal. Service animals. Yep, service animals. And survey planets. But no. Extra mission. This would be exciting. Okay, no extra text forever. See you down there. Uh, actually, let's look at our new ship. It's a little bit bigger. Open. Mostly looks pretty bland and boring. Don't know who created that infrastructure. Guess I can put loot in here. Yeah. God damn, this looks boring. Even for a sci fi game. Like, this has no charisma. Everything's grey, white, and black. Is that a shower? That's a toilet. Not even UV lights. Ah. Every other space game has a better inside of their ship. Mass Effect. God damn. The auto worlds. Nope, that's the most Hi boring there, thing ever. Hey, you didn't follow me while I get locked up? Okay. Can I just get up? And search for it the old fashioned way now. Okay. Yep. Sidonia. Wait, are we on Mars? Come on. Oh, come on. Yep, we're on Mars. So do and fly away. Hmm. Thanks for the cutscene and the audio stutter. I could try to fight them with my little new spaceship. Well loose. And I just backed off into it. Yeah, that's not a little spaceship. Oh, mine is looking good. I'm happy with that. Okay, damn it. It's just circling without me any pushing any buttons. Can I now please land on goddamn Sidonia? Okay, good. I'm in there. Hmm, that spaceship is looking good. Now I just need a cool crew. And not the stuff they've trying to offer me on Atlantis. Stutter, stutter, stutter. See you down there. Actually, I want to see the cutscene. We're gonna wait. I want to see the cutscene of me landing. Band. Good job. Scan complete. Welcome to Mars. You are cleared to land at Sidonia. Thank you. Hey, wait a minute. Did my, did my ship not have a lot of shield? Oh, I need to put that into points. Energy. Shield. I don't know if my energy gun is good. Okay. Why was that not? 
put into points can i finally land there please oh, jesus christ oh there's my second free bit got them loading screen from the screenshot photo mode thing the trader was well, just chilling there with her eyes closed and her animal pet and me just looking like a Unex unexpired, uninspired badass. Like I'm bored out of my mind. Okay, give me the loading screen cutscene. And hopefully it doesn't start up. Gear looks green, ready to land. I guess that's start up. Exit ship. Oh god. I picked up something you might be interested in. Oh, oh. Just your handcuffs. <laughs> oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. I don't know what you're talking about. And that doesn't look like a secret tea to me. And the audio's gone again. Heat God leeches damn. In the engines, leeches on the hull, multiple leeches in the grav drive. Suppose that yeah. would explain the brownouts. So what's this going to run? Building Sidonia completely underground was a Ah, okay. So it's an underground city. Open up. That even had a loading screen afterwards and say I thought it's gonna open up the city. Ah, oh, you could definitely call this game loading screen, no loading field, loading field. Very fitting. Audio glitch. Maybe once the game is finally patched and updated, I will play more of it. <laughs> right now there's just no point or oh, we'll just completely forget about it and play something else newer that works and is optimized perfected i have things for you god damn it shut up sandonia that would look cool if it would be on 2k resolutions but i've downscaled you look hurt might want to head on over to Reliance. What do you mean Dr. there's Slay no work? Well, in. Yeah, what can I do you for? How, far we've how much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? <laughs> Got that makes sense. The Lux condos aren't anything special. But yeah, yeah. So that's the problem of money to play this game when it's finally Look at patched. This I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees, no grass. Okay, cool. Time. You know, oh, ask me if you need anything. See. I'm here to help. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. I like your accent. Mm. I'm here to sell, but I'm looking for you. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Is that Irish? Mm, let's talk price first. I am not talking price until I know what the hell I'm buying. <laughs> I know that made no sense. Take a look at this sample. Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hard to handle, though. What else you got? The Trade Authority turning away contraband. Now I've seen everything. God damn it, you. If you can't handle it, point me to someone who can. All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Oh, of course, damn. if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. Ah, oh, of course. Ah. Oh. Oh, dear. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. Well, well. It appears she suddenly remembers everything. 
Hmm, how nice. Oh, There's a buddy you. of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. Sidonia is an industrial town. The people there tend to be... Tell me that's not the way out again. Uh, better check the mission log. Okay, no. The Broken Spear. Nice name. Work in the Still deep up. mines. That's where you make the big books. Yep. Meet under the old rate. Very deep. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. I hear you. Oh. Sir Roy Spoden said you could help me move some of this. Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you. Uh, well, he screamed okay. at me. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something for us first. Oh. Ah. Oh. She never said anything about that. Yeah, well, she isn't running the show here. I am. Well, this is utterly ridiculous. Do we really have to jump through these hoops to get what we need from you? <sighs> Lady, if you want me to move that shipment for your pal here, you're going to do whatever the hell I want. You got that? Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Oh, that's a bad German accent if I ever heard one. A little bit subtle, but still. Ah... Oh. I can't kill him with Sarah around. Oh, all right, I'll get it done. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miner's quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. What a good description. Carl, eh? Fielding. That sounds German too, especially the call. Detonation occurs in five, Holy four, Trump. three, two, one. Do your part to keep Sidonia graffiti. Uh, graffiti free, yeah. Oh god. I might enjoy this ma ma map. No, city. Yeah, map. Might as well. If it wouldn't stood up and with some deep, strong colors. Up the other graffitis. Particle detonation concluded. It is now safe to resume normal activity. Damn, there's so many people here stood up. I in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my There he is. A miserable call. Miserable. He gets... Something I can help you with? Yeah. I need to collect the credits you to Adler Camp. Adler Camp? Uh, who the heck is that? Um, Adler is serious about this step, so I should just you pay quickly. Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. Uh huh. Uh, look. I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, well, it's been nice knowing you. I'm sure your funeral will be lovely. Uh, hey, hey, now. <laughs> Take it easy there. Let me think about that person you mentioned. Uh, Adler, was it? Hmm? Oh, wait. You mean that Adler? Yeah, 
Sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Sound good? Yeah? Nope. 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 That's not good enough. Hey, now Deimos will be sending your corpse home in his casket. Come on! Give me a break! What nope. the? Look. I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Perhaps he's already been through enough. Oh, come on. That's why I didn't bring you. I'm tired of playing games. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Mm -hmm. Is this really worth the risk? You could always make the money back later. Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. Oh. You shouldn't have racked up a debt like this in the first place. I suppose. It's just that, well, I, I didn't have much of a choice. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. I wonder where this will all lead. The United Colonies Department of Labor is very safe. No. Nope. Oh, there's an elevator. No. Is that just another way up? Oh, damn. They'll really make you work for that. Got the mission to be fulfilled. So that would be cool if the loading screens at least wouldn't stutter. But <laughs> no, you're getting stutter everywhere. Oh. Come on, game. That shouldn't be too much to load now. God damn. Oh, my fucking god. Stutter. Still, it's still loading. Jesus Christ. That's where the hell am I? Upstairs, probably. Why is this game so optimized so badly? The game is optimized so badly. But I guess that house doesn't do up stutter. Up. But how doesn't give a shit? You get all them good ratings from the critics. Why optimize the game anymore? The heart of Mars again. Mm. Have something for me? Yeah, it's all here. Well, would you look at that? I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? I got the message. Nice. Nice. You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? Oh, yeah. We're in. Oh, what exactly are you, associates? If you haven't figured that out by now, then maybe you aren't cut out for our line of work. Okay. Ah. Oh, if you think you can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. That's where oh, I live. And I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. How the hell did you get access to my ship? Folder, folder, scum. Um, can I just take that? Doesn't seem like it's stealing. I jumped to the other one. Right now, so piss off. Security hassle you. Cut the crap, Adlin. Let's make this quick. 
There's only so long I can stand a sink of minor sweat and stale beer. Okay, okay. Take it easy. Here's the fleet's kickback, just like I promised. What is this bullshit? This is half. Half of what you promised. No reason to get upset, if you're here sweetie. To broker a deal, Security why don't around Sedonia has been heads? cracking down, and it's tough to get the demo smocks to play ball. That means I'm spending big on bribes, covering lost shipments. This isn't exactly like running a pharmacy out here, you know. Two things, Adler. And I will make this simple enough so even a total imbecile like yourself can understand. One, I don't give a damn about your excuses. You owe us the agreed amount on time well, every well. month. Look what the Martian And two, is. you call me sweetie ever again. <laughs> and I'll shove my knife so far up your ass that people will mistake you for a unicorn. I, uh, okay. Sorry, Nava. I'll make it work. Here's the rest. That's more like it. I'll see you in a month. Always nice to kick back at the broken spear. Well, I actually need to leave him probably. No scream time. No, just need to wait in the loading screen. You need also to wait for the door to unlock. Five extra seconds. Lovely. Good job, the first up. Making sure people spend a long time with your game. 100 hour play time is 50% loading time and 30% running time on the. On barren planets, not just barren planets, not on barren planets. Uninhibited planets, no, I don't know, man. Oh, damn it, loading team. I'm getting confused. Loading team, loading screen. Ah. God, let's go though. Let's see where I need to go. Am I right here still? They're pointing me to my ship, right? Yeah. Damn, that ship is cool looking. Map. Map. Europa. Wait, do I need to fly there manually? The planet? No, the planet is not Europa. Hmm. There we go. <sighs> ah, see you there. This was completely clutched. Oh, okay, but she asked me if I want to join. Damn right I am. Spend your life on that? Because the only way out of our organization is with a warhead up your grab drive. So, before I put you to work, let's get everything out in the open. I don't know if Adler mentioned it, and for his sake, I hope he hasn't. But you aren't about to sign up with any average pirate crew. Mm -hmm. You're signing up with the Crimson Fleet. That's if you get through this little task I have planned for you. There's a medical supply ship called the Raigana, jumping into Enceladus's orbit. On board that ship, you'll find a traitor named Austin Rake. I want him dead. Okay. Let's see the dawn. It's done. When Rake stops breathing, uh -huh. head back here when you're finished. And don't keep me waiting for long. I can't take Sarah with me. Exit. Ah. Okay. And now I'm just spinning around Were like a crazy person. Here? Don't you have a job? Sorry, I'm just spinning around. Okay, where is he? Here. And Dallas, near and Dallas. Oh God damn! Trouble. 
And another loading screen. And three, two, one. Oh, not even. What the hell? God damn. Stood up, stood up, stood up. Oh. The hell was that? Oh. You have a crewman on board. I'm looking for you. I'm looking for. Oh damn, the fleet wants Austin Reg dad. I would like to board your ship and talk about how to spare him. Well, normally I would say no, but frankly it will be safer for us that way. Alright, you can dock. We will talk then. Ah, oh, god, good. Dock R. What a sexy cutscene. A little bit too less grey. A bit more grey. And we are locked in. God, let's see if I can talk him into something. Apparently he needs to disappear. I don't see another solution besides killing him and if I wouldn't have Sarah around, this ship would be already destroyed. No, oh, Sarah. Pain of my existence. Open the door. Oh, look. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? I am not sure what to make of you being here. If you wanted to kill us, you could have done that from your ship. If mm. you wanted our cargo, we could have jettisoned it. I guess I should just stop talking and let you say your piece. Ah. I don't know who's listening over comms. This is Saver. That is true. Which means you don't want somebody to know what you are really up to. Now, do you mind telling us what this is all about? The fleet won't wreck that, but I want to resolve this without violence. You really do not know which one of us is Reg, do you? And you do not seem to care either, which makes me think you really want to save him. Mm. Okay, I have idea. We can strike his name from Manifest, make it so he was never on board. Then, when we dock, we will leave him on this ship and deliver him to another port. What? Deliver him to the Sysdurf in the fleet. If the fleet find out about this deal, we're both exposed. That is fair. We do not want any part of the fleet. Is that all right with you, Austin? Do I have a choice? It does not appear you do. Well then, it is agreed. You go back to your ship and we will make sure Rake was never on ours. And in case any of your handlers get suspicious, here. We had an extra crate of supplies loaded, in case one got damaged. This should be proof you were not here to bargain. I don't, I you were dead. I can't I don't see it. this working, but okay, sure. I can't see this working. Could have just killed them. That kind of makes me sad that I had to talk myself into this. Oh, boy, that no is me. Would have already killed uh, them before talking to them first. Just going away and blast the ship, and the bounty would be even higher. Peacefully, they say. Peacefully, sure. Um, talk. Thanks for the cutscene. This doesn't store that. Separation complete. Am I still recording this? I am. Good. Oh, map. Let's say back to Nova, Neva, to the sweetheart. I don't remember her name. God, my ship is cool. Oh, Stoda. Stood up, stood up, stood up, stood up, stood up, stood up. Damn 
the mercs just don't know how to take a hit. Hey, Rook, wanna help me with some target practice? Oh boy. Okay, we're having a space fight. Some new guns. You tagged their grab drive. Enemies grab drive out of commission. <laughs> their grab drives down. Tar Enemies shields gone. Target's shields are being blown out their grab drive. Taken down their shields. Their shield system oh, is going on. Oh. You took out their jump drive. You took out their jump drive. You Enemies took out the jump drive. Offline. Is that my ship? Is my ship going crazy? Can you target their that thing, please? Target's jump system. They enemies grab drive disabled. They've lost grab jump capability. Enemies jump drive is offline. Enemies grab drive disabled. They've lost grab jump capability. We've taken out their shields. They've lost grab jump capability. Oh, enemies good jump boys. drive is offline. What the hell is going enemies on, boys? Enemies shield grid is fried. They've lost grab jump capability. Oh my god. Their grab drive's down. You tagged their grab drive. Target's jump system down. Enemies grab drive out of commission. Enemies grab drive out of commission. We play. Enemies grab drive out. Targets lost their shields. Enemies grab drive disabled. Target's engines are down. Targets lost their shields. They've lost all propulsion. I hate it. I hate it. How the hell did that happen? What is going on? Why is everything ruined with that? Oh, okay, that's looted. Hello to Ostra. I'm kind of looted off screen. Stop. Oh. Okay, talk to my girl. If I can actually help. Hold. Thanks for the help with the cliptic. I had it under control, but it definitely went faster after you jumped into the fight. Now tell me about the Ragana. Give me some good news, then we can go celebrate. Oh, what's my lie? Mm. Lie, Austin registered the Ragana survived. Huh. No kidding. That'll make Delgado happy, seeing as our hands are clean. I would have preferred if you hadn't left witnesses behind, but at least you got the job done. Anyway. You want it into the Crimson Fleet? Well, you're in. Yep, it's that simple. Hope this business with Rakes taught you something. Because I'm about to stick my neck out and vouch for you. If you screw up, and I wind up looking like an asshole, I'm gonna send someone after you. We clear? Oh no, they're just gonna die like the previous five person. Hmm. <laughs> Best decision you ever made. Yeah? Last person who said that was Rake. So you've already dug yourself a hole about six feet deep. <laughs> and now that yeah. you know the deal, it's time to see what you signed up for. I'm gonna upload the coordinates for our headquarters in the Crick system. Spacers call it the key, the fleet calls it home. Head out there as soon as you can. Don't keep me waiting long. I'm going. Don't you worry. Map. There. Port. Nope. Oh, yes, yes. <sighs> Flying around everywhere. Oh, there's Phobos. Wait. Uh, want me to report back now? Report to. Oh, yeah. Was... No, that's no, damn it. Let's go. Oh, my ship is cool, even though it stutters like crazy and makes says everything double every command. I'll see you in there. Purple. Let's go talk to the captain here. What's up, boy? You're back. Anything to report? Yeah. Start up. Start up. A lot of start up. A lot of PC problems. Game poorly optimized. It's all trash. We got the message from the Ragana about Austin Rick. 
We had him dropped off at a separate port of the books. Suffice to say, he's got a lot to answer for. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll risk my cover to do it, so you better appreciate it. I do. I know it's a delicate tightrope, and it doesn't go unnoticed that you're risking your own life to walk it. Every tightrope act needs a safety net. We appreciate the fact that you're behind us, Commander. Oh, God oh damn it. one more thing before we move on. For transparency's sake, you should know we were the ones that hired Ecliptic to attack Neva's ship. There was concern after what happened with the Regana that you might have trouble earning Neva's trust. Coming to her rescue ensured that would not be a problem. So you let some of your people die? Oh, oh that's just another gang. Ecliptic doesn't have a problem with attacking the Crimson Fleet. They are mercenaries for hire. Oh, yeah. They are paid enough money. Ecliptic would attack the Vigilance. It wasn't terribly difficult to convince them to attack an isolated Crimson Fleet ship. Just expensive. Oh, that was a clever way to ensure Neva's trust. Ah, so I take it you have good news. Were you able to join the fleet? Yeah. It does seem like a past the initial test. Then it worked. You're in. Sounds like everything is going as expected. Now it's time for the next phase of the mission. Our intel on Searsha was correct. After we received reports on your interaction with Adler Kemp, we picked up on your rendezvous with Neva Mora. Our files indicate she's second in command, so getting on a good side will ensure you get into the Crimson Fleet. I am in. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay. you pass your first test and you're still alive. But before we get too confident, that either means she suspects nothing or she intends to make an example of you later. Just remember, these are ruthless criminals, so don't let your guard down. And their ruthlessness is only surpassed by their cunning. You should proceed with caution, regardless of how well you think you've ingratiated yourself. So what's next for you on Neva's agenda? I was told to meet Neva at the key. Where you'll meet Delgado, no doubt. Delgado is the leader of the Crimson Fleet. I have a profile here with some information on his background. You'll want to know the individual cadences of every member of the fleet, but Delgado's most of all. Agreed. The last thing we need is to infiltrate the fleet, only to be kicked out because we've underestimated one of their people. I don't disagree, but it's important to know your enemy and the best way to defeat them. In any case, now that you're with the fleet, You'll be operating independently. We will shadow you eventually, but we'll need to maintain our distance for now, especially while you're on the key. This will also give us time to bolster our defenses, should we need to engage with the fleet in the future. Sir, on that note, shall we begin implementing the upgrade to our shields? Immediately, Lieutenant. Notify the engineers and relay the information to the crew. Oh, big space I hope fight. your entry into the fleet has overcome any doubts you may have had regarding your mission. It certainly increased my estimates on success. Keep up the good work. We'll expect further reports. Dismissed. The only thing I don't trust is Sarah here. She just would never fit in into this undercover mission. This oh, is just right. the beginning, but it's an important first step. What? I'd like to return the medical supply. Nope, let's keep done. Um... Best of luck. Don't I you have something to, to give? Be we sure don't have a full map step. of the fleet's roster. I have the evidence team. for you. Well done. Let's see what you found. Just I discovered some information about Alta Camp. Interesting. Looks like he's been meeting up regularly with Neva Mora to transfer goods and cash from Sidonia. Which means the Crimson Fleet's just lost one of their drop points. <laughs> that should set them back a bit. Any other don't fragments? Do that just yet. Good luck on the key. Mm -hmm. Heard the Regana made it to port with zero casualties. Nicely done. Okay. See you back when I 
you have stuff happening. Oh, we're right at the K. Guess I just enter now. Dock, yes. Oh, what a sexy docking cutscene. I'm coming in from an angle this time. Hmm. So I can't see my ship. All right, let's cycle that airlock and get aboard. Of the best undercover agent ever, Sarah Logan. Is that even her second name? Oh, please don't take forever again. Oh no. It's just a small loading screen. The previous one took like five seconds. It's so random too. They don't even show me. I have things for you. Cut, you cut. Get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. I want 2k resolutions. My okay, problem. let's talk to her. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Oh. <gasps> you my kidding dude. me? Way to make a mess in front of my new rook. Hey, steal from me and get caught? Better off dead. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Oh. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. Exactly. What the hell fun. took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Oh. Why did you had my own affairs to deal with? I don't care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? Oh. But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Oh, and so yeah. ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the Key. Used to be an old UC military star station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. Oh, I bet it really pisses off the UC. It really pisses the UC off that you're stationed here. <laughs> you think? And that's only part of it. I'll let Delgado fill you in on the whole story. He tells it better anyway. But I can give you the short version while we walk the station. Sure. Story time? Hmm, how delightful. Yeah, you anyway, fit in. I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you too. Follow me. God damn, Sarah. You just don't fit in here. Why did it take right. you? History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Uh, cute, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Keep talking. Okay, never mind. We're gonna have another loading screen. Sure. You need five loading screens for your ship. A minimum. That's how you know it's a big ship, you know. God damn. Now I don't know why people complain so much about the loading times. Oh, I've never done a bigger mission. So that's pretty much the first bigger mission I've done. After setting my, more of my game up for less Dota. Unlimited mods. It's actually like three or four mods. But it took a long time to download because Vortex ain't running yet. And holy loading time. Mm. I don't want to cut every goddamn few seconds. Is it done? Yes. Oh, that looks actually nice. Socks. Now, we've got everything uh. the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. You can sell stuff. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. 
So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, Show me. welcome to the depot. No. Where you'll be Damn lucky it. if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I'll remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. I want to sell stuff. For Back all to occasions. my story. After the liberated prisoners grabbed the key, they established it as a... Well, well. Neva's new hotshot. <laughs> I knew you'd find your way back to my little corner of the key. I... Everyone always does. Never left. Show me those goods. Oh, what are you selling? Take a look around, genius. And don't tell me you've never laid eyes on a gun before. Oh, but just all. in case I need to spell it out for you, the merch I carry is known as weapons and ammunition. I Get like it? the people here. I like the people here. Let's skip the Andrew. I'm just here to buy. Hey, if you want to pour credits into my pocket, you won't hear any arguments from me. How much I carry money? most of the standard hardware, you know, kinetics, electromags, energy. Occasionally, I stock a few smuggled items. Basically, the stuff SysDev doesn't want you to play with. Just don't screw me over or I'll be inclined to give you a free demo. With your head as the target. No. Let me guess, trust issues. We all have trust issues here. A little advice, Sadiqi? The fleet's trust can't be bought. You earn it. That seems like... You bleed for the fleet, the fleet bleeds for you. Pure and simple. Maybe Anyone who is... says otherwise is either lying or getting ready to stab you in the back. That mission is bigger than I thought it would be. Ah... Oh. Thanks for the etiquette lesson, lesson, Professor. Don't say I never did you any favors. Ah, oh, show me what you have. Kinetic, electromag. Weapons, that's just, that's a white, oh, look at that. Feather. What that's supposed to be, fury. Ah, oh, check this, blue guns. Or a legend, okay, nothing. Exciting. All right. See you around. Where did she go? Yeah. Brooke, meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. Uh -huh. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, Neva. It's like five figures. Don't make me collect it the hard way. <laughs> the hard way. Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. On the right, you've got Bradley from the Trade Authority. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how high. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll patch you up. If you've got the money. We don't run any free clinics up in here, you know? My prices may be high, but these goods ain't exactly easy to find. I smiled when I heard her voice because I did. I sell a little bit of everything. 
but only if it's hard to find and only for a high price. Neuroamps, a few unique resources, maybe a specialized weapon or two, anything that's rare and in high demand. I know that voice. That's from the outer world. It's New Yorker. Love that voice actress. Badass character in the outer worlds. <laughs> I was raised fleet. My mama joined up when I was 12. She was a first class smuggler. We'd always lived comfortably, but she took the offer to join when a job almost went south. She figured if anything ever happened to her, it'd guarantee I'd still have a home. I might need to join them just for her. Raised among pirates, I would question those parenting skills. My mama taught me everything I need to know to get by in this world. I may not have fancy degrees, but I know how to survive and live the life I want to live, which is more than I can say for most of the people in the settled systems. Oh, God. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. I might need to join them. Show me those good weapons. Hunter Wolf. I have exactly the same weapon, just different, but yeah, just a different name, I believe. That's not that good. That's not good. We get Come New York back and here. see me sometime. Yeah. I like that. Got them crew okay. here. This is our final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves watered down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. And right here is the most important place on the entire station the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Another new rook, Neva? I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Rape? It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. <laughs> That's going to get infected. That's amusing. I don't think I've heard that one before. Oh wait, yes I have. You might as well dispense with all the stupid jokes. I've been hearing them for years. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Oh, I bet you don't get much out. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There's... You're done. All you need now is Delgado's blessing, and you'll be one of us. That's so cyberpunky. Time to make those credits. 
The perfect segue into my final subject. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy, we always have a steady stream of jobs available. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Oh, sounds like we'll be doing a lot of business together. If Neva's chosen wisely, we certainly will. Now, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. I might just all ditch right, listen up. Sarah. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. Can I not? Oh, I can't take. Wait, I didn't read it. Piracy. That's just smuggling, I hate that. Okay, let's talk to the big boss. It's a different elevator. Oh, I can't ditch Sarah. It's for the main quest. Hate that they'll pay. The companions are important for that. But every companion is part of the main quest. Anything to say? No? Ah, there is our other new recruit. Oh, we're gonna have to kill each other. Matthias Castillo. Stodo. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, well, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. Neva's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means you've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Oh, I'm just waiting to cash in. You and everyone else on this station. Keep following orders and you'll get paid. It's as simple as that. All right, let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. Okay, maybe I killed them all. Got it, boss. Boss? <laughs> Good. You're getting it already. I like that. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, let's get to your next job. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Grix. Grix led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Oh. So you take every new part on those initiations? Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? Oh. How many tests do I have to go through? What? Were you expecting a goddamn graduation ceremony? Think I'm just going to slap a skull on you and send you on your way? Make no mistake. You are being tested all the time. Every job you take will be under constant scrutiny. And neighbor? Oh, she's just waiting for you to screw things up. 
Ah, tell me about Crick's legacy, Dan. Legacy. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's legacy. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. Crix left a lot of big talk on that recording, and not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Oh, <laughs> Oh, that's a little overly ambitious. Only to a small-minded rook. Uh -huh. You want to be content with your petty crimes? Go join a gang in Neon. Okay, enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, rook. Don't keep me waiting. That's so very planet in the meantime. Oh, I got money. Oh, now I need to go through the ship and collect evidence. I've got bounties in every system. Idiots will never catch me. Turn around and kill her. God, I don't want to go as through evidence. As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. Oh, I will betray Look, you as soon as I can. In the fleet, you either put up Shut up, or die. Your choice. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go. Oh wait, where's this leading me? There we go. Tell us about your arrest. Oh, my arrest was spectacular. Definitely one for the record books. You see security sent an armada after our little fleet of ships and picked us off one by one until the remainder of us made it to the wheel. For a listener's benefit, that was the star station in orbit around Voli that you destroyed just before your arrest, correct? You see, that's what they'd have you believe, but the truth is much less sinister. There was a firefight on the wheel when they tried to bring us in. We hold up, but you see security unleashed hell. The damage they caused was important? catastrophic. Because I'm pretty sure you've we been given orders. So we wouldn't die when the station exploded. Well, the UC says you set demolition charges to try and cover your... Tell us what the future holds for the Crimson Fleet. <sighs> changes are coming, Gale. Huge changes. Crimson Fleet will soon be a... Much bigger player in this little game between the members of the settled systems. That's quite a bold statement. Would you care to elaborate? Well, let's just say that I'm on the brink of a score so large, it makes everything else pale in comparison. Beyond that, you'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> if you aren't willing to discuss the details, why grant SSNN this interview? Simple. I refuse to allow the UC to spin or bury the story, making it sound like they're in complete control of the situation. I'm gonna tell you right now, they aren't. Why does the Crimson Fleet need to make I this mysterious move you that you're plane. being so evasive about? Why are you about? talking to me? <laughs> I know Sistef instructed you to draw this meeting out as long as possible. So let me sum this up. I intend to make sure that the Crimson Fleet becomes the United Colony's worst nightmare. And nothing, I mean nothing in this universe, so I am. will stop me from achieving that goal. There are those that would disagree with you and claim this interview is grandstanding, or worse, a recruitment tool. After all, SSNN reaches every corner of the settled systems, and your aspirations could inspire the Directionalist to turn to the fleet. Oh, Ned. 
You and the sheep that listen to your garbage can believe whatever the hell you want. If you were so worried about what I had to say, you wouldn't have allowed yourself to be brought here. Just let me get out of here the quick way. Oh, okay, so you're down there. Oh, we're on the planet, all right. It's very icy. Let's talk to the big boss. About time you got here. Uh, anything else, dude? I, ask. I oh, told you you were wasting your time, Del. Uh, got the crab on that's good down to business. That's why we're here. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right, listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Whatever you pick up, don't think, don't get creative, bring it straight to me. Uh, don't worry, Mathis is incapable of thinking. If that was supposed to be a joke, I am not laughing. Aww. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. <laughs> All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, understood. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Uh, very nice. I'll just remain here and soak in the planet's lovely winter-like atmosphere until I go hypothermic. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. Oh god, you're the sole reason that I'm gonna betray this goddamn little faction. I could use my red armor to blend in with them. Space suit, there we go. Yeah, that will do. Oh, can I just sprint her? This the game doesn't sell us badly. Let's go then, dude. Go oh, there, scan. Good. It spawned right underneath me. Did you hear that hum? It's just me. Stood up. There it is. Oh god damn it. Yeah, you can handle that. Did he just throw a grenade? The lock. Oh, I think that shotgun runs the smoothest. Shit. We're too close. Oh damn, there are many. Watch out. <laughs> oh, just start to fly. Can I just go in? Ah, cut them, it's not. Bring it on. Take him down. Sure, you don't want to bring Sarah? That was weird. Oh, there's 
another one. That doesn't run smooth. Oh, I need to send her back, I believe. That's why she's marked. Oh, can I just... Let's try going in. Good. Yep. Oh, you stutter, stutter, stutter. Here we are. The place where Jasper Griggs laid the groundwork for finding the legacy and eventually the Crimson Fleet. The lock. I'm ready. Yeah, he needs to get this thing open like right now. It's freezing out here. Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis, because it's probably not going to get much better once we are inside. All right, let's keep moving. Standing out here isn't doing us any good. A fun Sarah. She's going back to the ship. This ID card cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. <laughs> I was about to laugh like a villain. Oh, okay. Maybe we can say save the traders on the ship. And just kill the main bad guy. I wouldn't mind that. Actually a peaceful solution. Damn it, it shows me. Sarah. Stood up, stood First up. time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Couldn't be simpler. How many people did the UC stick down here, Dal? A couple of hundred at least. <laughs> Might not look like much, but it was better than trying to survive on the surface. Oh, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now, keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. Oh. Don't have any dick pics. People sent them to me right now. I can open doors. I'm not allowed to loot stuff in here, I've heard. I'll still take everything I can find. Everything? No. That was that. Okay. Just something to read. Prisoners before transferring them to a cell block. Could you imagine? Being stuck under a ton of ice like this for the rest of your life. Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us, though, am I right? Wait, shut up a second. Did you hear that? What the hell? Creatures. More of these things. Take them all down. <laughs> so that's, that's why I'm playing on easy difficulties. Damn, I need my shotgun. No pain is worth it. Let's go. <coughs> Holy Someone threw a grenade. Safe. Still the safe. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. Must be a nest. I bet these things are crawling all over the place. Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. Oh, sounds like someone needs to grow a pair. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. 
Enough already! I should have known better than to bring both of you at the same time. Now let's see. Looks like we are inside some sort of prisoner transfer area, but everything is locked down tight. Since you are such good friends, why don't you and Mathis head up to that control room and see if you can get some more of these doors open? Let me guess, I'm gonna have to kill him. Okay, I saw a staircase here. Oh, this way. Guess it's not upstairs after all. Sarah is still on my map. I'm quicker. Well then, oopsie. Hmm. No oh, dick pics. Well, this is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Oh, we stick with the plan. The plan? Who gives a shit about the plan? Let's face it, we're on our own now. Oh. Do you think the god is testing us? Do you think he rigged that collapse on purpose? No, no way. I get that we're down here trying to prove ourselves, but I don't think this is what Delgado had in mind. Ah, then we should continue to follow the Gutter's orders. Why? Because that's what his loyal little soldiers are supposed to do? The hell with that. I have a better plan. We mm -hmm. use this opportunity to take out Delgado and at the same time make some serious credits for ourselves. Oh, yeah? I'm listening. I had a feeling you'd be on board. Okay, here's my plan. Let's pretend for a second Delgado's correct, and there's information here about Crix's legacy. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves and sell whatever we find to Neva. We'll be rolling in credits. I'm on board for now. Playing it safe, huh? I can respect that. But you better have me back when I make me move. Now, let's find a way out of here. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Well, I guess that's one way through. I don't like the Gado. And I'm definitely okay with Nivea. Well. Damn it! Is anyone there? Quit screwing around and pick up! Uh. Crap! Is this thing even on? Oh, Wait stop it. to hear back. Answer if you can. I'm just collecting stuff that definitely will go towards you. So the two of you made it, huh? Yeah. Oh, hell of a way to start this job. It all goes downhill from here. <laughs> now listen up. We have obviously been cut off, so I need you to do two things. First, I want you to keep looking for a way to open the rest of the doors down here. Otherwise, I'm not going anywhere. And second, try and dig up whatever you can about Jasper Griggs. You both got that? We got it. Yeah? You'd better. And tell Oops. Mathis not to get any bright ideas, or I will gut him myself. Folders. Okay, that's just a PC. Security. Just messages that I won't read. Security controls. Override lockdown. Lockdown lifted. Exit. Attention. Oops. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. Look at this dump. I can't imagine being stuffed down here to rot. Poor bastards. Damn it. Dick pic's missing. Nobody sent a dick pic yet. Oh. Should 
Shock and show. Nothing noteworthy. More messages, lovely. Good. Huh. What's that over there? Holy Jesus Christ, this is gonna take forever. Looks like there's a guard tower overlooking the cell block. We should check it out. Oh, this is gonna take forever. Forever. It's gonna be a four off episode. Don't worry, we got a new best friend uh, Elias Matthews with us. Big bang. That's an RPG vibe, uh, so one. That's gonna make my game explode. It's a big bang. Heavy fuse. I don't wanna play with it. Maybe it's a new fat boy. No, it's just an RPG seemingly. Damn it. That's a shotgun? Oh yeah. Sadly, it's not blue or gold. Oh, creature spawning in somewhere. Yeah, that's quite decent. Oh, yeah. This guy is just using fists. Same. Save first. Oh, dead body. Damn it. Hold it for twist. Not this time. Don't take you with me this time. That's the coolest shotgun. Sleep here for a <laughs> one hour and see how my tears react. Nothing. Already my favorite companion. Okay. Damn it. Hey, we should talk. Get into the tower. Okay. There we go. So have you thought about what I've said? Yeah, that's a close close up. Uh, we can't even get near the gold though. Well, maybe we won't have to. Uh. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. Did the job for us. Mm. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. We just have to get our hands a little dirty. Wouldn't be the first time, am I right? Damn, that's very close up. Oh. I'm still thinking about it. Well, we're kind of on the clock here. Just remember, when this all goes down, you better make the smart choice. I'm so now that me. we've made it to the guard tower, what's our next move, genius? Getting you out of my face. Oh. We find a way out of this place and keep looking for informed crooks on the way. Keep doing what we've been doing. Right. <laughs> Glad I asked. Yeah. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for the location of Crix's cell. If he stashed any useful information, it might still be hidden somewhere inside. Good. Know how much inventory space I still have left? That no loot. Mm. Just 
the normal space helmet. Okay. Yes. Which cell block was that? Oh my god. Hmm. Can't I just open all of them? Yes, I can. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Looks safe. That's something I could chomp. It's a little bit too close for comfort. I need to up the difficulty. Oh, damn you. Can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted? I would hate to have been one of the guards. Downstairs, okay. Everything in here is locked. Can I just open the cells like that? Yeah. Ugh, look at this cell. No wonder Craig's wanted out of the place. I mean, it's a prison cell. What do you expect? Food tray? How is that supposed to be? Okay, all the cells open now. EMP. Lamp! They're all high on stuff. And there are credits in here, weird. Oh, that's the food tray. Oopsie, why did I take that? While down? we're picking through the trash, we might as well grab some good stuff for ourselves. Yeah. Now we're thinking. Yes, that's all the good stuff. Oh wait, this saw. The toilet paper. Jammed in here. Go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. 30 FPS. The dream. The gaming dream, we're living it. I don't know why I'm just quick safe, dude. 77 meters, 11 meters, wait. Did I forget anything in here? Ah, oh, probably opened the base. There it is. Eddie, I bumped into someone in the mess hall yapping about a ship carrying a fortune and credits. I know it's usually bullshit, but he seemed to have details. Striking up a conversation, I found out the ship was a Galbank transport named Legacy that went down in some remote system during the war. This is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter, let him know it's time to get off this rock. He'll help the mining detail slip into there the utility closet in the ventilation room. That's where we'll dig. Not up. Through right to the armory. Carter mentioned that security keeps rotating codes on all the terminals in the lock, so we'll have to coordinate this carefully. You don't want to mess with me! For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. By this time next month, I should be out of this dump and uploading those creds into my account. Okay. So we got something here. Map pack. Good stuff. Let's go. This way. Seven one. The mining crew tells me it'll take them a week to cut 
cut through the ice. So I'm giving you that long to square your end of the plan. When the tunnel reaches the armory, I'll get my people to start a riot. When you hear the fireworks go off, get your ass to the shuttle bay. We get one shot at this. If we play our cards right, this gets us one step closer to that fortune that went down with the legacy. You report any of this to the guards. Well, you know what will happen. Okay, what's over here then? Creatures. Oh boy, fire. This blood actually does extra damage to those creatures. There's a switch somewhere then. find it off screen oh that actually took me a while to find okay more story time take me on I dare you do I have the inventory I don't think I have the inventory anymore Let's take everything else though hello quarter Oh, we need to find where he hid his stuff. Hmm. I still everything that I needed. Okay. Okay, that's everything. Let's go. Let's go, dude. This way. No message in that room. I got a nice little SMG somewhere. Am I running the right way? I don't know. I definitely were here before. 62 meters this direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go. My inventory is pretty full anyways. I'm guessing. It's completely overloaded. Tablet, no notebook. Open door. Here I thought yeah. we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. You're a very creative guy. Stood up. More dead Who's people. Is this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Yeah. And open this. Well, well, what do we have here? Uh, give me a sec. No, oh, he actually got it open. This ought to come in handy. What did you find? A nice big All gun. Right, let's keep moving. What did you find? I don't know what that is, but it seems impressive. Okay, weapon case. Ammo, ammo. An old oil for sword rifle. <laughs> it's funny find. Yeah, my inventory is pretty full. I just saw that. We can take every bit of ammo we can find. Especially shotgun shells. Stun mine, yeah. Wait, no, I need to look at my backpack now. See how much I can take with me. Oh, damn. I'm not overloaded. I'm gonna put out my good shotgun. Just in case. Let's 
go. So much loot here, damn. I got the dead space post raffle. Lucky bastard. There we go, money. I don't have too much ammo. Damn it. Nowhere. Don't get the ammo here. Here, that's where we get the ammo. Saw that? Anyways, that will come in handy. Next to the shotgun, probably my best gun. I swear, I am never putting ice in me drinks ever again. Good boy. Who does that, anyways? We drink stuff warm here. Me in my face. Actually getting to like him. Maybe we can keep him. Nah, everybody alike. We won't be able to keep them. Side stars, so Oh Rida. So many dead people here and they didn't get looted correctly. So many dead people. How can these Things live in this kind of cold. That's bullshit. It's definitely not the smartest. What can I do? Let's go. Holy dead people. Oh, yeah. Oh, I need to fall back. Eyes up! Incoming! Yeah, I see it. Go Holy on. Jesus Christ. Damn. I think we're gonna die before. Like Don't dude is gonna die. Oof. He ain't doing too good. What you gonna do now? I'm on the table. Stand up, dude. He gave me a dick pic. Oh, no, it's a thing. So many dead people. Can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. <laughs> Blows me mind. Oh no, nope, nope, thanks. I always sell them by accident, the dick pics. Don't give the best money. I can throw in food for heels. Okay, hey, it's just definitely something here. That's drinkable and eatable. You yeah, could. Damn, there's so much stuff here that gives you healing and other effects that it's kind of hard to read through. And I shouldn't take all that food with me. Hamburger, multi, turkey. Yeah, you're good. God, I need to eat so many yogurts now. The only thing that works of gout. Do not get gout. Yogurts and eggs, protein sources, I mean. 
Bob's are clean for God. Mm. But I'm eating so much skewer and creek yogurt at the moment. It's Looks disgusting. like this was the warden's office. And muesli. They built the office right next to the shuttle bay for mm. quick escapes, I bet. That looks like mice. Sure. Use the warden's intercom near the window. That's just a knife. Where have you been? Rear pistol, what? Look out the window. I'm over here. Oh yeah, see ya. Okay. Well, gone was that razor bug. Mm, that's ugly. God, I love that shorty. Shut up. We're gonna die soon, dude. Me and my fires all the way. All the way. Best brother again. I was about to give up. Oh, Use shut. the inter I hope you found something because I am getting sick and tired of this place. Ah. Oh. Oh, I found it all. Oops. I found information about Quick's legacy. No thanks to my fears who nope. Thanks to my fire's help, we found some information about Crix's legacy. I knew it! Everyone said I was out of my mind! But something told me we'd find the answers down here. Looks like I picked the right people for the job. Uh-huh. Yep, that's right. It was a team effort all the way. We had each other's backs the whole time, Del. Is that Mathis? Tell him to shut up so I can think. Oh. Uh, yeah, sorry, Del. You go right ahead. find a way off of this planet um, let me see ah here we go I'm looking at schematics for the lock and I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there but I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key uh, I'll rather meet up so we can all leave at the same time start raining from the sky mm. now if wishing time is over maybe you'd be kind enough to stop running your mouth and listen for a change okay let me see one of these probably opens the door shuttle bay activated initiating the icing process please stand by yup that's got it might take a while though those bay doors have not been opened in almost a century you have done a hell of a job rook we will talk when you get back to the key. Damn it. What now? Can we still kill him? Hey, mm. um, look, I, um, well, I wanted to thank you for not being a jerk and hounding all the glory on this run. Tell me we can still kill him. You're just worried I'm going to tell the God your body plan. What? No, no way. But, well, now that you mention it, um, look, um, about all that killing Delgado stuff, uh -huh. why don't we just forget about everything that I said? You know, like it never happened. No, oh, I still want to do it. Ah, oh, fine, you're going to owe me a huge favor. Yeah, yeah, of course, don't worry, I'm good for it. Now, let's get the heck out of here. Good. Damn it. I thought we could kill him. Grief to waiting followers. What? What does that mean? Oh, I'm gonna skip ahead. Maybe. Yes. I went into the wrong direction anyway, so now there's a fight on our hands. So let's kill everything that's around. Damn, I need a better gun. Or just use the high ground. High ground ain't helping. They throw stones. They got rock throw as one of their moves. Your funeral! Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, we need to. <laughs> we need to. 
Use petals dove now. Uh, it's alien sandwich. Correct capacity, sure. Damage resistance, that's what I need. What was that? There is damage resistance. Is there so much damage resistance? A heart, a med pack. Uh, which gun against creatures? Humans. That gun I was just rocking would be actually one of the ones that is good against creatures. A yeah, snapper rifle in here, not good. Maybe you anti personal. Robots. Oh. That would have been the one. Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. Good gun it is. It's gonna be a big fight. Yo. Oh, there's Matthias. He's tanking for us at least. He's still alive too. Good job, Matthias. Grenade. You wanna mess with a Crimson Fleet pirate? <laughs> yeah, tired. Damn, that card kicks so heavily, it's insane. Jump, jump, dude. Get it in the fires. Oh boy. Up oh, the difficulty, by the way. Oof, good shot. Wait a minute. More? No. I should probably go. Yeah, let's go. Where's the entrance? There it is. Is that a new ship for us? Don't tell me that after buying. No. A new ship, there we get a new ship. How are you doing, Matthias? Part of my crew now. Just letting you know. Nice gun you have. Ah, I need to activate the ladder. Slow and steady. Oh, hello there. I'll take it all, why not? Let's fly out of here. I like actually this ship doesn't look half bad. Exit. I just have a second ship now in my command. How about it? Okay. I guess never mind. Hey, ma we might still get a chance to kill him. What? Nah, I'm a fool. Oh god. I see you when something happens. I'll press the wrong button. Oh, it took me forever to get here. Especially with selling things. Oh, slip sync. There you as are. Always. The hell took you so long? Oh, God it's damn about it. time. I was about to fly down and loot your bodies. Not mm. now, neighbor. Well, you said you found something. Hand it over. Oh, here you go. That's it. Just one slate. After losing so much of our crew. It better be a map with a big red X on it. Well, I'll be damned. Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Galbank ship going down. And even if it had happened, it would have been picked clean years ago. 
No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the location was eventually forgotten, it wouldn't be on anyone's radar. Okay, this changes things. Now that we know what we are looking for, we have to narrow the search. Uh, we don't have much to go on. Well, that is not necessarily true. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank ship, which means the company is going to have records of where it went down. Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about a big wig charity event on one of Trident's Starliners? Are you serious? I've been working on that gig for three months. That's my score. Ay, Dios mío. Will you shut up about your score and think for a second? That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard, which means... Come on, Neva. This isn't hard. Which means a Gal Bank exec will be aboard. We grab their credentials and get ourselves into the Gal Bank archives in New Atlantis. Holy shit, that might actually work. I'll send a message to Rokov right away. Pack your bags, Rook. You're going on vacation. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Might come in handy when Rokov screws everything up as usual. Oh, actually a gold gun. Who would have thought? Uh, who's Rokov? Rokov is... <laughs> well, he's Rokov. A real pain in the ass. He used to run with the fleet until we kicked him out. Lately, he has been using his long hauling skills to captain a Starliner for Trident. Gives us a contact within the company. He has been trying to get his foot back in the door with us for years. But I'm not ready to let him in just yet. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Oh, I always wanted to take a deep space cruise. Good, because that is exactly what you are going to be doing. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without being recognized. If Trident Security spotted us, it'd be over. I need you to board that ship. Make contact with Rokov and get me those credentials. Guess this course won't be done anytime soon. I'll get it done. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration and I've decided to let him join the fleet. Look at that. <sighs> I think you made the right decision. We'll see. That's it then. Next stop for you is Rokov Starliner, the Siren of the Stars. And remember, Rokov does not need to know anything about Grix's legacy. For now, it's just between us. Now get out of here. Hey, Rook, before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Meet me at the last Nova after you wrap things up with Mathis. Wait, I need to talk to Mathis too? Oh god. This quest, I don't think it will end soon. Where the hell is that guy? Downstairs. Downstairs. Jesus Christ. I thought that's gonna be a quick mission, but it's actually like bigger than the main storyline. From what it seems, this loading screen took forever. Three, two, one. Skip. Stood up. Stood up. From skipping into Stodos. Here he is. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you one last time for not ratting me out to Delgado and telling him how much I pitched in. That was pretty damn cool. If he would have found out what I was planning, well, I don't even want to think about what could have happened. Oh, I remember. You owe me a favor. Oh, yeah, sure. Anything you need, you just ask. And I'll be there to back you up. We're going to hold you to that promise, Mathis. You just, uh, you know, uh, take care of yourself out there. Mm-hmm. Okay, where do we meet her? Oh, she's just around the corner. And Sarah is walking around with directions. Nice path. 
The a fleet's the tweet. only family we you haven't need. decided. The hell you That's red. Right. There you are. Well, all right, yes. look. We were I've been lining up a score with that asshole Rokoff on the Siren of the Stars for months. I'm not about to let a payday slip through my fingers. So guess what? You're going to finish the job for me. That's going to take forever. Seems to me, instead of trawling deep space for stick change, as as get my coat. Of course you'll get a cut. That's how everything works around here. Why would this be any different? Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of bullshit charity event that the Siren of the Stars is hosting. At the event, they're going to give away something called the Earth Savior Award, which is worth tens of thousands of credits. So it's simple. While you're on the siren, swiping those Gal Bank credentials, I want you to grab that award and bring it to me. Oh. <laughs> no one likes a cheat on the bar. You need to win the trophy fair and square. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're hilarious. You should stand up on the bar here and start telling more jokes. This crowd would eat it up. Mm. Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. But if you don't come back with the ES award, I'm gonna deduct it from your pay. Oh. Either way, I get my money. How much you walk away with is in your own hands. Got it? Oh, Unless God. you plan to walk away empty-handed, she really isn't giving us a choice. Thanks, Sarah. Oh, oh. Oh, sure. Then it's settled. Good. All right, Rook, we're done here. Now, get your ass to the siren and bring me my goods. Why do I keep getting called a Rook? That's new. Because that's exactly what you are. A rookie, a newbie, fresh. Beneath all of that inexperience, I'm sure you have an actual name. But honestly, no one gives a damn. So get used to hearing that word. Until you earn your stripes, you're a rook to everyone in the fleet. Can I Talk just later. go now and read them out? Why do I have to keep doing the missions? And get them rich and famous and steal stuff for them. Ah, oh, map. Lose. Ah, oh, yes. So maybe it's. Maybe I don't need to do this stuff. Look at that. Look at all of that stuff. Show on map. No? Okay. No, let me fast travel out of here. Holy, that's far away. Jesus Christ, no, not you. You. What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh my god, I. I was. I'll see in a second. I'm actually flying around with this crap and I can't switch it up. Which is the worst and now I'm getting attacked. Jesus Christ, and I need to jump out of here. Jesus Christ, what the hell did I get myself into? Cheyenne, please. Cheyenne, Cheyenne, jump. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. No, I need to switch ship somewhere before I can continue. Oh, I might just take a break. Yeah. The hell is that song? <laughs> sure. Navigation Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Out. Please maintain right your place. current course while we scan your ship. Now land on your planet, please, to switch. Yes, thank you. First time I've been here. Yep, that's enough. Scott it, cut it. 
I could actually modify that and use it and fly with it. It's kind of cool looking, but we're going to sell it. How do I sell you, actually? I could really store it. Why is buy here out of the ship? What the hell? What do I sell here? Or sell? Can't I sell you? Seriously? Okay, no problem. Can I? I swear I could sell it. Huh. I guess not. See you with the mission. Time to make the galaxy a better place. Let's talk to her first this time. Evidence. That throws her good. She didn't expect Excellent. that. Oh, look, Penny. It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a tiny rumor can snowball into a full blown fairy tale. Find mm. anything else? Did I? No. Understood. Let me know if you need anything else. Good. You're back. So, how did it go? Weird. I right, successfully infiltrated the Crimson Fleet. I'm confident this plan is going to work. Then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was you certain too. we'd fool Delgado, but never. She's a sharp one. Overcoming her scrutiny is no small matter. Did you discover anything worth reporting yet? The guard is searching for a gold bank ship named Legacy that was carrying some type of lost fortune. Legacy. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Excuse me, Commander. Did you say Crix's legacy? Please tell me you aren't seriously going to give that any credence. Everyone knows that's just a... I don't know, a myth? I'm holding tangible confirmation of the word legacy attached to Crix's name. That's too much of a coincidence to attribute to myth. I suppose it's possible, sir. Intelligence picked up a bit of chatter on that subject recently. We assumed it was some sort of tall tale or a story to attract recruits to their cause. Oh. Story not to God to believe it's real. Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing ghosts. Oh, or he's smarter than we suspect. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a gal bank transport named the legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, it's... sir? I think there's no record because gal bank is hiding something. Delgado's no fool. If he risked his own neck to get that information, then he must be on to something. We have to take this seriously. What's your oh. next move? Let's kill him. Oh. God, I'm supposed to, to board the Starline and the Steel Guard Bank. I oh, have credentials. Clever, Delgado. Very clever. If I were in your place, I'd be trying to do the exact same thing. Oh. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn out to be the largest haul of credits the Crimson Fleet's ever seen. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could press the Galbank execs for information. Get ahead of everything. No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our agent here feeding us information. I think that's good enough for now. So I'm doing There's the job. to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper Kriggs was clever, and for some reason, he never got there. Oh, shouldn't I put a stop to this by killing Delgado? And let Neva Mora take his place. Or Shinya Voss. Or any one of a number of pirates already gunning for his position. No. The solution is to stick to the undercover operation and determine how much of this is truly a credible threat. Okay, I'll proceed as planned then. It's imperative that you do. 
Mm. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport full of currency, it would be disastrous for the settled systems. I need you to do whatever you can to bring us more information. And for God's sake, don't kill anyone on that Starliner. Both dismissed. Oh, <laughs> I can't even kill the one. I probably can't fast travel out of here. Mission. Breaking the bang. What's wrong that be? Oh, Olympus. Yes, let's fast travel there, please. To fast travel there. You passed it, okay. See you there. I don't know Where if I'm gonna get that done today. And that's soul. gonna load for a whole night. This video is gonna be cooking for the whole night in my film for video editing software. Hmm. Okay, let's play a little bit and then it's midnight. Muesli time. Zero. Siren of the stars. Rock without tailing first. Okay, sure. Get my good ship back. I'm ready to kill a cruiser or a space station. I need and more you crew. Didn't even scratch the paint. I'm beginning to like me. Because I do things your way now. Ah, oh, you're lucky you're important for the main quest, Sarah. Logan. Or Sunni, or whatever your name is. Oh, long loading screen. Lovely. I'm just gonna keep on going. And in the meantime, check my upload on YouTube. Do I have a good thumbnail for the uh, Siege Dead Zone update? No, I don't. Damn it. I can release that. I just need to finish making a thumbnail. Star so, Siege Dead Zone is a PvPvE game, if you're wondering. But it might have fallen deep. Okay. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Can't steal. No, I would like to. That looks like a boring ship. About time you showed up. All right, I want to know what's going on. I've been trying yeah. to get Delgado's attention for, oh, I don't know, three years now. And what do I get? Nothing but radio silence. Then out of nowhere, just when. Neva and I are closing in on a huge score of our own. Delgado orders me to help you out. Ah. What? No formal tour of the ship? Oh, sure, sure. First a tour, followed by a formal dinner at the captain's table. Let's get one thing straight. You're here for business, not for a vacation. So, let's start by talking about Delgado's sudden olive branch. Uh, just, I'm just following Delgado's orders. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Just another one of Delgado's loyal little soldiers, huh? Fine, have it your way. So Neva's message said you were here for Dombrowski. Was that all she sent you here to do? Or was there something else you were sent here to steal? There was actually. Uh, never asked me to steal the Earth Savior Award. Oh, really? Did she now? Hmm. I can't believe she's trying to cut me out of this deal. Without Oops. me, the award never would have ended up here in the first place. Uh, What was the original plan you have with Nevia? I spent months manipulating the Terran Preservation Society to hosting their gala affair aboard the Siren of the Stars. I had to arrange the event to make sure that the award was aboard the ship. Neva said she'd do the rest. When I got a message about Dubrovsky, I assumed she'd be tagging along to steal the award. But looks like uh, she said you in her place. Yeah. Then you know the whole plan. Thought her, you're also never getting back into the flight, dude. She told you to hold that over my head, did she? Oh, that witch. Fine, I'll help. 
but you're doing all the legwork, and I'm still taking my cut of the payout. Yeah, I don't care. Anyway, we'll get to that later. First, we have a much bigger fish to fry. So why are you targeting a Gall Bank exec anyway? Not exactly your average Crimson Fleet prey. Why the interest? You're smart. Oh, what do you consider normal prey? Merchant vessels, transports, supply convoys, mining settlements, you get the picture. But taking on a megacorp, that's a really big deal. Something the Crimson Fleet stayed away from in the past. Sounds to me like Delgado's either getting desperate, or this is leading to an even bigger score down the road. God. Mm. Oh. Oh, I don't trust you enough to share sensitive information yet. Playing it safe for now. Okay. I can respect that. Second guy. But let's make one thing clear. If I'm gonna stick my neck out by helping you get near Dombrowski, I want something in return. Like him or not, he's the Siren's captain, so his assistance is going to be invaluable. Maybe we should hear what he has to say. Uh, you obviously have something special in mind. Well, well, it appears we have a mind reader here. You're absolutely right. I don't want money. I want back into the Crimson Fleet. It's as simple as that. That's actually what he's getting out of this. I don't see a problem. Yeah, you're in no position to make demands right now. Just do as you're told. Fine. You want to play it that way and suit yourself. Dombrowski's a full-timer aboard the Siren of the Stars. Probably spends more time cruising the space lanes than actually working. Fortunately, the Siren is hosting the Tehran Preservation Society charity gala. Larry won't be able to resist showing off his VIP clout. To get what you need, you're gonna have to attend the gala, talk to his fellow philanthropists, and dig up some dirt. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'd rather hmm. hunt down Varun's zealots than mingle with those egotistical frauds. Oh. I'm going to skip all that and talk to Dombrowski. You knew at this or something. Come on, think. If you don't hold anything over the guy's head, he's not going to budge. He's stubborn, he's rich, and he's a huge pain in the ass. This card will allow you to access the Starview Ballroom. If you need my help, I'll be relaxing in one of the upper level lounges. Head inside and mingle with the crowd. No one likes Dombrowski, so they'll be more than happy to share his dirty secrets. Since when do I have that neon street red? Hey, if there's any aurora around, then it'll be a party. All right, Speedy, take it easy. You're not gonna find that kind of junk aboard a Trident Starliner. Oh, there's one last thing. Trident equips all of their Starliners with the latest acoustic threat detection. Meaning that you lose patience and kill anyone aboard the ship, security will be alerted and all hell will break loose. Aww. Anyway, I suppose that's enough to get you started. Good luck. No killing. Can you help me with the Earth Savior Award? As long as you remember that I'm getting paid my cut, I'll help you with anything you want. What's the status of your plan? Oh, I've just gotten started. Okay, then let me point you to the person in charge of the award. Her name's Sheila Holbrook, and you can probably find her in the Starview Ballroom. I'd press her to reveal where the award's hidden, and we can go from there. And if you're thinking of pulling the trigger on poor Miss Holbrook, remember that any gunfire is going to set off the ship's alarms. Mm, damn it. Oh, and while you're at the gala, avoid the canopies. They're frozen, not fresh. Damn it.
Damn it, damn it. This is gonna have to be subtle. It's great. This doesn't look like a party. You're a guest of Captain Rokov, right? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Store. I just wander around. Probably steal it. Right out of the safe. Ah, oh, I know Sarah is gonna love that. Captain Lokov is one of the most easygoing CEOs I've ever worked under. In fact, he doesn't act much like a captain at all. <laughs> because he's not. Shh. Listen. Give me the answers again. These newer vessels more or less run autonomously, which doesn't leave much for the crew. Good. Good. We're out of the normal people quarters. Let's see how that rich, fancy ship looks like. Better looking good. Hmm. Oh, damn, this takes forever again. How's my recording looking? 10 minutes? 10 minutes again. That will be 5 hour video or so. Let's do the Okay, I got an access key. Oh, look, it's fancy. Who this? Oh, that's the girl. I certainly hope they decide to hold all future society events aboard a Starliner. God, yes, that face again. I'm extremely busy preparing for the award ceremony, so this better be important. Oh. I heard you in charge of the Surveyor Award. Yes. I am. Actually, I've been entrusted with the transfer of the award for the last seven of its nine years. Why do you ask? Mm. <sighs> That's so obvious that it's gonna be me. What do you mean there? with transfer of the award. Well, the Earth Savior Award is one of a kind. The Blue Diamonds alone are irreplaceable. Since we can't produce a new award every year, it's instead passed from one recipient to Aww. the next. I supervise the transfer and make certain that there's ample security during transport and at the destination. Oh, you must be nervous keeping something so valuable in your cabin. In my cabin? Oh, please. Why would I do something so foolish? I'll have you know that the award is locked inside the master safe, located at the purser's office. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have much more important things on my agenda than to speak to the likes of you. Excuse you? Oh. In here, so we'll just talk Please to remain. him. Any complaints about your crews should be directed to one of the staff. Best suits. Is that the... We have a range of excursions available at all of our destinations. All the details are in your cabin. The hell is this? Oh, it's just a little locker. I think it's somewhere I'm sorry, down. But you're a... What? Was I not supposed to go in here? Seems like I was supposed to go in here. Oh my god. Why does every door need a loading screen on this little ship? And then it takes forever. 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 Lovely. Jesus Christ game. The hell is this now? Oh yes. Hello. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. If you want With to all die, the happen. worthy causes in the settled drink, systems. The oh, you'd think people wouldn't waste money on these pretentious luxuries. Hello. Please let me know if your voyage is unsatisfactory in any way. Can I just talk to you? Okay. Welcome to the purser's office. I'm Chief Purser Murata. How can I be of assistance today? Oh. Can I store things with confidence in your safe? Oh, absolutely. 
The safe is magnetically sealed and shielded with multiple layers of fully damage-resistant vacuum-proof plating. In the unlikely event, our vessel is boarded and the threat okay, detection cool. in the even more unlikely event, this ship... Okay. So, as you can imagine, your property... Cool, thanks. Oh, I like to take a peek of the... Ah, if I would be smart, I would tell her that I need something stored in here. I like to take a peek at the Earth Savior Award. I've only seen it briefly myself, but I can assure you that it's quite lovely. Mm. Unfortunately, the item is locked inside of our safe, which can only be accessed by presenting an appropriate claim ID. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Mm. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to make you stay more comfortable. Play my D. Which seems like it's downstairs. How do I get downstairs then? Lovely Everything party, is, isn't it? See, it's upstairs. I know that voice. Talk to me. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Maybe that leads me where I need to go. Trident must have spent a fortune equipping this ship with triple redundancy. What the hell? Is that just... It's not what I thought it's gonna lead me to. Oh, the loading screams in the ship. Loading screens, they are torturous. God, that's such a goddamn mini ship. That's just going the quest. Stood up, stood up, stood up. If you have any... I'm gonna have to talk to her again, I guess. Seriously. Must you continue these unwelcome interruptions? I'm a very busy woman. You just send her. I need to claim my D for the <laughs> uh, Yeah, sure. Excuse me? And why in goodness name would I do something as foolish as that? Intimidate if you don't, I'll personally escort you to the nearest airlock. Okay, there's no need for that kind of talk. I'm sure we can work something out, right? Here, take it. Take it. And go. Have you tried really? Canopies? Horrid. That worked. Positively horrid. Don't forget to keep your star view. <laughs> Loading screen. How the hell did that work? I mean, I just put points into intimidation. So, good for me. Good for me. Oh. Yes, that's why I'm using pursuit options, especially in this game. That's where games like The Outer World shine, where there are multiple ways to solve a conflict or something like that, a quest line like that, like a hidden airlock that you can go through. But nope, not in this game. You either buy, pursue, or intimidate. And I'm definitely using that there. That's not suspicious at all. And see how this that's must not... be where the passengers store their valuables while the siren is underway. Those credits are apparently through for free. Okay, let's go back. That's sweet. What a quest line. It wouldn't surprise me if she would send security after me. Them loading screens would have an editor, I would let him edit all of them out, but I don't. And too many cards are just hmm, too annoying. Okay, let's talk to the guests. Who has a name here? The 
The ship's purser can assist you with any matters regarding the security of your items. Quite a lovely Starliner. Nothing but the best for the society, eh? Hey. Please remember to obey all posted safety and mustering instructions. Yeah. In the event of a lockdown, remember to return to your cabin in a quiet and orderly fashion. No Here for business that. or pleasure? I've done this particular... Go Green just talk to that person. I can assure you that the route is quite safe. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Do you know anything about Larry Dombrowski? The considerable amounts of cash that Dombrowski donates is the only reason we allow him to attend society functions. That's all? I've already told you everything I... Uh... Enjoy the rest of the event. No, we're not. You? Hello. Are you mm. a member of the society? No. Larry likes to drop overly complex words into conversations. I'm sure he knows that it annoys people, but he does it anyway. No. So everybody has one that sentence. That's all then? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So, what brings you aboard? Yes, he's some kind of top dog over at Galbank. I heard you replaced someone that was caught running a fake loan scam. Besides what I owe. Oh, God. Nice yeah. to have met you. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? The society chair has a real. His behavior towards women is abominable. That man really ought to be ashamed of himself. Oh. Well, that was boring. <laughs> yeah, I An agree. Open bar would have been nice, but Trident's so, gouging us for every. What brings you aboard? Larry has an A-level executive rating over at Galbank, which means he has access to everyone's accounts at the touch of a button. So, Aren't we already? God damn it! Don't forget to donate to the cause. I will. Have you tried the canopies? Horrid. Positively horrid. Someone Quite that looks like he's special. He. Nothing but the best for the society. It's a surf, damn it. Pleased to make your acquaintance. He's been spending a lot of time with Claudia Swist. Quality time, if you catch my meaning. I'm certain his wife doesn't know a thing about it. Mm. That sounds good enough. Go speak to Claudia nice to Swist. You. Claudia Swist. Hmm, an open bar would have been nice. But the hell is Claudia Swist and someone in here? Claudia Swist. Claudia Swist. Did we talk to her? Is that the guy with the security stuff? Job next to the ward. We talk. Oh god, we have to cut out the loading screen. Oh god damn, too late. I'm just gonna sit there in shame. Think about my mistake. Claudia Swist. Now that's someone new. Let's confront her while Maudi is glitching. Ah yes. The girl with the voice I know. Also from the other worlds. Cut. Sorry, do I know you? Uh, there's no harm in a friendly little chat between two people. Okay, wait, are you seriously... Uh, are you trying to pick me up? Look, uh, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm already seeing someone. And my partner doesn't like competition. He gets very jealous. And I should give a damn. Uh, maybe I should talk to Larry Dubrovsky's wife instead. His wife? Uh, oh, for the love of God. I told Larry to keep his big mouth shut, but did he listen? No. He had to impress his friends and treat me like a trophy. Oof. Look, I've been in this business for a long time, and I know how this game works. So let's skip all the banter and get it over with. What's it going to take to make us both happy? Okay. All I need is some incrimination on Dubrovsky. If I give you dirt on that son of a bitch Dubrovsky, all I'm doing is endangering myself. Why would I do that? Oh. 
Uh, of information that could seriously damage your reputation. You know more about me than I suspected. Can't have that. Oopsie. I'll find that information one way or another, so it might as well benefit now. That's true. You have come this far already. Oh no, I'm gonna fail it now. Dombrovsky isn't worth protecting. Yeah, you could be right. Because Dombrovsky deserves everything that's coming to him. As much as I can't stand Larry, I'm not sticking my neck out to bring him down. You know what? Forget it. The price of doing business by slinging mud is way too steep. What else you got? Oh, intimidation. They are money. You're willing to pay me to give you dirt on Larry? <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I'd end up on the short end of the deal. You know, this oh. whole thing really pisses me off. Larry and I had the perfect scheme where thousands of credits all worked out. And then he goes and flushes the whole thing down the toilet. If you're angry at anybody, it should be yourself for getting mixed up in this ridiculous scheme in the first place. Thanks, Sarah. Judge me all you want, lady. At this point, if I'm going down, then all I'm focused on is dragging Larry down with me. Tell me about the scheme. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to that. Larry got together with myself and this other guy, Gabriel Vera. He's some big wig over at UC Security. I doctored the transactions, Larry wiped them off the system, and Vera kept the legal pressure off of us. We were scamming Galbank for months. It was going well until I discovered Larry was cheating everyone by changing each transaction in his favor before deleting them. Mm. You want revenge? Give me proof I can use against him. I wish I had some. Uh. Maybe you should try talking to Gabriel Vera. He should be around here somewhere. If he God doesn't want to cooperate, just mention my name. That should grab his attention. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Ah, I just got poor of her. What was your contribution to bank to the bank scheme? I wrote a computer algorithm that basically creates a randomized number of false ghost credits that mimic the crypto key of actual credits. Then the algorithm simply passes the ghost credits to whatever legit transfers that the bank transacts. The genuine credits enter a dummy account. The best part is that I also alter the crypto keys as the real cash flows into our accounts. By the time it lands in our pockets, the credits are clean. Well. So on paper, it appears that all of the bank's transactions are covered when it's really just our ghosted dummy creds. <laughs> Genius, right? God, I will hate future schemes and scams. Oh, okay, no, I hope you enough. hurt Dombrowski. Nail his ass right to the wall. I'm not allowed. Sarah will look at me in the main way. Oh, another loading screen. Damn, this mission is exciting with all those loading screens. Glad it has that. Cut. Don't forget to keep your Starview Pass handy at all times, or you won't have access to all the... Well, that's the dude I didn't that talk to him before. That view is absolutely spectacular, isn't it? Hello. You here for the charity event? It's the same face as the captain. I'm more... Uh, I'd rather talk about Larry Dombrowski. Dombrowski. Uh, he's the exec holding court over in the VIP area of the ballroom. Yeah, sorry. I work for UC Security, not Galbank. I don't really know him personally. Oh, uh, Car Claudia Swiss says you have information about Larry Dombrowski. Claudia sent you, did she? Look, friend, I don't know if you're just a little drunk, maybe a touch crazy, or both. Whatever you think you know about me, you're dead wrong. So back off. Mm. You're a liar and an absolute disgrace to the United Colonies. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, maybe I'll hand any advice I've already over... What? Maybe I'll hand any advice I already have over to the authorities. <laughs> Just in case you weren't aware, I am the authorities. Oh. Anything you try to report will boil down to your word against mine. And really? since I work for UC Security, who do you think people will believe? Sarah. 
Sarah. Get the hell away from me before I have you arrested. You've had your time to talk. Seriously? Don't piss off. What the hell? What now? I said the wrong things. Damn it. Who the hell is that? Oh. I saw your little exchange with Vera. Keep that up, and I guarantee that imbecile's gonna demand that you be arrested. Mm. He's involved in a scheme with the Broskin Swiss. Which is why he's threatening you. That makes sense. We need hard evidence of their scheme. It's gonna be tricky. The problem is he's not gonna talk to you in public. We need to get Vera isolated so he'll spill everything he knows. A shipwide emergency might do the trick, emergency. Smart. If there's an emergency, standard practice is for all passengers to clear the decks and report to their cabins for lockdown. I think the best chance we have would be to tamper with the life support sensors. Manipulate a few controls and you can fool the monitoring system into thinking there's a, a life support failure. And there you have your emergency. Hmm. I guess I'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Whatever it takes? He's talking about tampering with the only system keeping everyone on this ship alive. Don't worry. It'll be as easy as it was mingling with the guests at the party. Just throw a few lousy switches and you're done. One more thing. If Chief Engineer Sundin gives you any trouble, tell him I'll erase that gambling debt he owes me. I prefer you use that as a last resort, but hey, What's the harm in losing a few credits when I'm on the brink of rejoining the fleet, right? Anyway, I better start packing. Things are getting hot around here, and won't be long before Trident figures out you had help. Oh. <laughs> Why can't I just kill Dubrovsky and take his credentials off his body? Sarah's gonna love that. You seriously need to ask. Okay, I'll give you two reasons. First, Gold Bank protects their own. Kill Dombrowski, and they send Ecliptic after every Crimson Fleet ship they can find. Not something they'll gotta want, I suspect. Uh. And second, you up a Gal Bank employee in every single Gal Bank facility in the settled systems will triple their security. I'm gonna guess that won't help with whatever your plans are regarding Gal. Okay. Mm. Remember, the moment you shut down that system, the entire ship goes into lockdown mode. Lockdown, lockdown. What you gonna do? The lockdown comes for you. Hello? Are you a member of the society? No. No, I'm not. Another loading screen, lovely. I'm gonna leave it. It's glitchy when I exit out, out of loading screens. Oh, a short one. Look at that. Off of it. No, just a little audio glitch. God damn, I'm getting tired. I will have to finish this tomorrow. Too much talking. Stood up, stood up, stood up. Loading screen. Oh, okay. Oh, let's quick save. Even though we just had an auto save. What's up, girl? Just coming through. Nothing to talk about. Okay, I guess I need to talk to someone. There's some heavy security protecting this area. Uh, hey, uh, but judging uh, from the up. fact that this is this the life support control, it certainly makes sense. Wait a second. You're Captain Rokov's guest, right? Didn't expect to see you down here. Sorry to give you trouble. What can I do for you? Oh, uh, sorry, that area's off limits. No exceptions. In the pursuit. Oh, I'm the captain's guest, but you can't let me into that room. No, sorry, I'm afraid it's impossible. Trident regulations strictly prohibit okay, anyone. Okay, just Look, keep... I'm not trying to be a jerk here, it's just... Captain Rothko said he's willing to forgive you for gambling that. Oh, really? Well, that changes things quite a bit. Tell you what, 
I'm just going to step out for a bit and stretch my legs. Okay. Maybe you can hold this for me while I'm away. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't break anything, or I'll <laughs> be out of a job. Yep, you will be. Have a good one, dude. Have a good one. Uh, sure. Well done. Let's put a quick save. Do I need to turn everything down? Okay, sure. All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain Hello. has declared a ship wide Don't emergency. This ship is equipped with please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Good. God, this mission is so tedious with all these loading screens. We didn't think that through. Next check gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Man, talk for one minute, load for 30 seconds, and repeat. Mm. 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 Now I got the dance floor for myself. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it appears that we've definitely ruined the party. Everyone's gone. So snarky. You're so snarky. Okay, let's intimidate this dude. Wonder if I could have passed this big check. Just saying something not stupid. Hmm. Downstairs. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Siren of the stop. Stars is now an emergency status. Please remain calm. Yeah, I'm going. Don't worry. Oh, everything's stuttering around me. And we're talking. Can you believe what? the size of this cabin? It's large enough to accommodate a family of 12. God, what a ridiculous waste of space. I was wondering if you were the cause of the shipwide emergency. I am. It's time you stop playing games and tell me why you're here. Oh, I'm on the call of if you see sis death and I need everything you've got on Dombrovsky. You're working for Ikande's little anti-pirating outfit? So what? I have nothing to do with the Crimson Fleet. And even if I suddenly decided to stay loyal to the old UC, why would I possibly want to incriminate myself by handing over evidence? Oh, Claudia says you've been cheated out of your fair share of God Bank job by Dombrovsky. Claudia said that. You sure? Damn it! That means my money's already gone. And the brusk is going to walk away with a fortune. Exactly. I'd love to see the bastard fry. But if I give you that information and it falls into the wrong hands, I could end up in jail. Oh. Oh god, just how I'm gonna have to pay him anyways. Oh, I'll pay you to offset your losses. At least I walk away with something. All right, you have yourself a deal. Here, with this slate and this recording to tie it all together, you'll be able to nail his ass to the wall. He'll do whatever you want. Just remember that you promised to leave me out of it. Oh, what? Do you know anything about your sister? I wasn't lying when I said I didn't know anything about your undercover work, if that's what you're trying to imply. All I can tell you is that there's more than a few people at Mast who find Commander Akande to be a huge pain in the ass. Yeah. I mean, the UC is aware that the Crimson Fleet is a problem, but it pales in comparison to the issues with the Free Star Collective. Akande's loaded with big picture ideas, but not a ton of evidence to put them into action. And frankly, it's driving my superiors crazy. I have a thought of joining the Crimson Fleet. Wait a moment. Are you telling me that this scheme is getting so out of hand, it also involves the Crimson Fleet? <sighs> That's all I need right now. Enemies on two fronts. Just because I'm helping you nail Dombrowski 
doesn't mean I'm turning my back on UC security. How else am I going to ensure that he ends up behind bars when all this comes crashing down? No, you can leave me out of your merry little band of pirates. You better tell them to ask you to run. Because if you don't kill him, I will. Okay. Need to get upstairs, I believe. There. Stairs. Our security team would appreciate if you'd please shelter in your cabin during this emergency. Thank you. I'm gonna shelter in every other car. Dalton? Cabin? 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 Okay, dude. Nice to meet you. Well, well. You must be the one who's been accosting Claudia and Gabriel. Mm. I'm uncertain what you hope to accomplish here, but it appears we should rapidly enter into some sort of negotiation. Oh, fine, let's negotiate. Excellent, excellent. So, before we begin, let's review the facts. First, it's clear that you've obtained insider knowledge of my arrangement to defraud Galbank. The means and the method, perhaps, but not the motive. And second, I'm going to hypothesize that my compatriots are despondent regarding their share and have assisted you with this endeavor. Hmm? Mm. Since we're speaking and I'm not at the reporting end of a bullet, this leads me to conclude that you desire something personal from me. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All passengers, may I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report you may as well ask, is it necessary for the sun to set on Jemison or for one to wear a pressure suit when entering the vacuum of space? I haven't entirely ruled out the bullet option yet. I see. Well, that certainly places a damper on our negotiations. Perhaps I can hasten my diatribe to temper your violence-ridden contribution. In blunt terms, you have compromising materials about me in your possession. The only thing I have to offer in return are my gal bank credentials. I assume that's what you've been angling for all along? Yeah, give oh, it. Oh, do get on with this. There's only so long I can stand being in the presence of this pig. Oof. Ah, that's all I want. Splendid. It appears we've reached an accord. Wait, I'm sorry. Let me simplify that mm. for you. It sounds like we have a deal. Oh, of course I trust you'll understand if I ask for us to avoid any further contact. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to formulate how I'm going to utterly ruin two very annoying business associates. Good day. I wish there would not be an option to slap him. Slap him. Where's the door? Key. Can I not close the door? All <gasps> passengers. Oh, shut up. May I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a shipwide emergency. Please report to your cabins in an orderly fashion and remain there until you receive further instructions. Where's the staircase? Where's the staircase? Damn it, there's the staircase. Oh, yeah, there he is. Nice. Well, looks like everything worked out. Just like we planned. How do you know? I wish you hadn't blown away the gambling debt that Sandine owed me. But hey, you got the job done. Ah, oh, I go what I wanted. I'm glad one of us did. I'm just hoping mm -hmm. you'll put in a good word for me with Delgado. Otherwise, I'd risk my career for nothing. You know, I'm still wondering exactly what you needed those credentials for. You feel like telling me, partner? Ah. Oh. You mean you haven't figured it out on your own? I usually have a nose for these things. But in your case, it's a mystery. Very frustrating. I don't think it's gonna help me if Whatever I tell him. Whatever the case may be, it's apparently worth risking your life over. 
That still me it involves uh, a lot of money. That also means I want in. I'm not sure that's a good idea, dude. <sighs> of course, of course. I understand completely. Anyway, I suppose there's nothing stopping me from rejoining the fleet now. It's been a long time coming. I owe you one, Dover. All passengers, Dover may Rich? I have your attention, please? The captain has declared a ship-wide emergency. Please report to your cabin. Don't worry, it's not an insult. It's a very old Russian word for comrade. It's what I intend to call you from now on, so get used to it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Nonsense. <laughs> if there's one universal constant you can depend on, it's that Yevgeny Rokov always makes good on his deals. Always. Well, I suppose this is where we part company. Hopefully the next time we meet, we'll be aboard the key. Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. Can I fast travel out of here? Probably not. For the emergency music boss, maybe one more time. See. Breaking the bank, really? New Atlantis? Hey. Tell me I can go there. Huh. Look at that. <laughs> Damn you. Uh, I'm gonna skip ahead. Yeah. So let's keep going with this. I'm gonna finish it today and I probably won't. It's a big quest. Galvan Gord. Yo. Dada. Hello. Welcome to the <clears throat> the uh, Galbank archives. May I see your credentials, please? Sure credentials here you go. Just one moment while I verify. Oh no. Oh, uh yes, Mr. Dombrowski. Welcome, sir. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. Do you usually treat all Garbank executives this unprofessionally? No. No. Never. Not at all. I I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, look. Please don't... Don't mention this to my supervisor, okay? She'll give me a low rating, and I'm gonna end up scrubbing floors. You're acting a bit strange. Me? No. Look, this is my first day on the job. Just cut me some slack, okay? I can't afford to lose it. I've got a wife and kids to feed. Everything checks out. Give me a moment to log your visit, and then I'll unseal the archives. That was strange as hell. So. Have a wonderful day. Damn, that was strange. I that was just a small talk. Into the archives. Um, I mean, the hell? Am I not supposed to be here? What happens when I kill them? Ah, oh, that's an ambush. That's why he's acting strange. Nice <laughs> stinging. I stinging enemies. No, damn! I got nothing. I stinging enemies swinging for the fence. Deadly dance. I'm going to end you. No chance. Stock up on junk. <laughs> Stop <laughs> complaining and start shooting. Yeah, it's an ambush all along. Where's my good gun? It's not the gun I wanted, but I will do. Show me what you got. It's not the gun I wanted at all. Damn, I'm getting damage over time here. Where's my shotgun? There's one. Damn it! Totally lost them. Space helmet. Where did he go? Is he downstairs or right next to us? Oh, he went downstairs. Over the fire. <laughs> it came to the wrong direction, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yo, let's talk to the garden. 
found that knife. Oh, not a tick pick. Thanks, dude. Love to see it. Helmet. Damage, alien, airborne resistance. Yeah. Did he flee? You bastard. I was saving us up. Go upstairs, can I jump upstairs? Damn it, almost. Why were they down here or in here? The banker, he snitched on us. The guy who we get the credentials from. Database, log ship requests. Okay, like I say, there they are. Prosperity, supremacy. Oh, let's go. The hell is this? <laughs> I don't know why, but I love it. Stress management can help to massage you while you're doing your dishes and wash your hands. One of the two. Let's see if I'm gonna get ambushed again. Probably not. Uh, yeah, it definitely was an ambush. And then I end this loading screen. I want to go get Vasco before I head out. I need another crew member. <sighs> Come out here. Show me what you picked up. Oh, she got brown hair. Can I capture that? Nope, I'm too late. Show me what you have for me, Sarah. A long time since I've been to. Stutter, 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 stutter. Yeah, yes. Take a look at this. <sighs> bye bye. Ah, you're them flower girl over here. I have so many resources on me. Where is your flower? Lovely. Thanks, Sarah. Okay, where's Vasco? Check that on out. See ya. See ya. We ready for a big payday. And first, let's talk we'll with Nega. Whole settled systems on the run someday. No? Thanks for making me look good. I would have had to kill you otherwise. <laughs> Your buddy Rockoff is aboard the key. Told me everything had happened. Huh. Yeah, he won't shut up about you. Keeps going on and on. <laughs> now I remember why we kicked his ass out the fleet. Just because he talked a lot? I thought you can't leave the fleet. Rock was not so bad. He turned out to be pretty helpful. Yeah, that'd be a first. All right, neighbor, you've made your point. Well, since you're vouching for Rockoff... I guess we can give him another chance. Mm. All right. Now that is out of the way, we can move on to the matter at hand. Crix's legacy. Speaking of which, let me see that data you copied from the Galbank archives. Oh my god, I'll tell him I got ambushed. Ah, so the Galbank transport went down over Bannock 4. Bannock. Why does that sound familiar? Neva? Yeah, yeah, keep your panties on. I'm looking it up. And I got it. Bannock 4. Let's see. Damn it. Bannock 4 is an EM class gas giant. We can't even get a ship near the thing without frying every circuit aboard. EM class? <sighs> Impossible. There isn't a ship in operation that can navigate that type of interference. Oh, so hit of dead end. Yeah, Rook. Just like every other time we've gone on this worthless treasure hunt. Both of you shut up and think for a second. I'm sure Creeks hit the same roadblock. All we need to do is figure out how he got around it. This sounds like a goddamn waste of time to me. <sighs> oh, 
I agree with Nova. This might lead us nowhere. I refuse to believe that we've come this far only to smash straight into a wall. I don't care what either of you think. We have to push through. Neva, the Galbank data says the transport had a CBR-27 transponder. Can we track that kind of thing? Pinpoint its exact location? That transponder is military grade. We're talking ultra-bit encryption, constantly reshuffling frequencies. We don't have shit like that laying around. But before you get that pissy look on your face, I heard that the UC's been working on a ship signal decryption system called the comm spike. We grab that little beauty, and we'll be able to track anything you want. All right, here is the plan, so shut up and listen. Rook, I want you and Neva to put your heads together and get us that comm spike. I don't care if it's mounted at the top of mast. I want it. In the meantime, I'm going to find out more about this EM class gas giant problem. And I think I know just who to ask. Give me a little time to crunch the numbers on the comm spike with Jazz, and I'll point us in the right direction. This is gonna go on further. Oh. Oh, Christ. Stick with me, Nevea. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. You know, damn picnic to work with either, so deal with it, Rook. All right, that is enough. We are in arm's reach of Crix's legacy, and I don't have time to deal with this kind of bullshit. Now, both of you, get the hell out of here and get to work. All right, let's get this over with. Follow me. Let's take Sidonia my ship, though. Is an industrial town. Thank you, Sarah. To be concise. Tell him, tell him, Sarah. Oh, the hell is that on your back, and why is it multicolored? Are you gonna talk? Just walk that walk. So okay. Mina can't gonna move on before Dale drugs. sees you slacking. She's got a drugs of every kind. If you know what I mean. Damn, I hate following people. Oh, skip. All right, let's get right to it. Did you get the Earth Savior Award, or am I going to be very disappointed? Oh. Ah, here you go. Well, well, look at that. You followed my directions, and now you're going to end up with some credits in your pocket. Of course, it would have been more money if you hadn't blabbed about the damn thing to roll call. But that's on you. Anyway, here's your cash. Keep this up, and I might even start respecting you. All right, Fleet. We've all got work to do, so let's get to it. Hmm. That wasn't worth it. Oh, God damn it! I need to report to mission. Oh, what does just mean, stop? Here to upgrade that ship of yours? Okay. So, looks like we got ourselves a new rook. Once again, I'm Jazz. Resident engineer here. Like Neva said, you need ship parts, repairs? I'll hook you up. As long as your credits are good. Oh, oh I can buy ships here. I hope the fleet has a wider variety than the UC and Freestar Collective. It may not be wider, but it's not on the books if that's what you're getting at. I can guarantee your ship will be in good hands. So if you're looking for an upgrade, let me know. Show you get me. the best selection in the settled systems. Yeah, show me, just... Oh, I'm always looking for an edge. Anything that keeps the UC and Freestar Rangers off your tail is a must-have in my book. Just let me know when you want to talk business. Show me the goods. Mind helping with my ship now? All business and no... Um... Sounds like fun. Let's Wait. see what I've got. No, that's not what I wanted. Damn it. If I want to see what she has. Radar, I've got... Sure, it's not... 
Ah, Shop's there we go. always open as long as your money's good. I want to see what ships she sells on the Crimson Fleet. Spectre 2, B Reactor, worse than mine, cheaper than mine. Doesn't look bad. That's all I'm carrying. That's pretty much the same thing. That's all Crimson Fleet. That's why it's not looking half bad because color is red and black. Ooh. Hello, that looks good. Sadly, also a little bit worse. But damn, that looks good. Crimson Fleet Ghost. I can't even land on normal planets with that thing, probably. Crimson Fleet Haunted. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay, I need to give them a got them. Up. I don't know about you, but nothing, but nothing. Let's get ourselves back to that update station. Damn it, I can't even get out of my windows. So I heard there was a bit of excitement on the Siren of the Stars. Your handiwork, I assume? No one died. Mm, no strolls fast around here. We told you we'd be keeping tabs on you. So, did you get information for us or not? I was able to successfully steal the Gar Bank credentials. Yes, and I heard there were no casualties. Excellent work. Mm. Except for the ecliptic hit squad that you took down at the archives. We've taken care of that mess, by the way. Speaking of which, I assume you copied the information from the Galbank's computers. Let me see what you got. So the legacy oh. went down at Bannock 4. Bannock 4. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar, Doft? Bannock 4 is an EM-class gas giant, sir. There isn't a ship in the fleet that could safely get near that type of world. Doggo figured it out. It sounds like you admire that lunatic. No. Oh, what? I read the sentence wrong. Oh, he's kept the head of Sis Death. Oh, he's kept ahead of us by murdering our past informants, so if you admire someone like that, maybe we picked the wrong person for the job. That's enough, Lieutenant. <sighs> Even if Delgado has an immediate solution to the EM problem, there's still the matter of tracing the legacy's transponder signal. Do you think something called this comp spike will solve that problem? They have information about the comp spike? <sighs> Damn it. I'm afraid I'm not familiar with that device, sir. Oh, no. No, you shouldn't be familiar with it. It's a highly classified project. It's an advanced signal decryption and tracking device that the UC Navy's been working on for years. How the hell did the Crimson Fleet find out about that? There must be an information leak somewhere, sir. It's the only thing that makes sense. I'll see what I can find out. Fine. This is what we're going to do. You keep playing along and go after the comm spike. Lieutenant Toft and I will see what we can find out about Bannock 4. Oh, this is gonna go on forever. I'll report back. Perfect. Just mm. stick with the plan and we'll see who gets to Krix's legacy first. Okay, I guess we're gonna steal the money before they can and then it will be a big clash. Ah, okay. See you. See you. See you in the next part. So much. Got them traveling and loading times. So much. Oh, I got Vasco, by the way. Hello, Vasco. How are you doing? Ah, oh, damn it, one more loading screen. I like my weapons mm. like I like my coffee. Scalding. What's that supposed to be? Oh. But it's so hot, damn it. Because it's overheating. Is it a laser weapon? Is it just badly bad at decryption overheat, right? Damn audio glitches. Load quicker, blaze game. Can't talk over all those audio glitches to make them disappear a little bit less. Oh my god, die. <laughs> this mission has so many loading screens. It's illegal. It should be illegal. Oh god damn. I hate that this that the ship parts aren't connected through you know open doors where you can walk through and not closed doors with loading screens. Do the 
Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. All right, Jazz. What do you got? According to the latest, the comp spike is being developed at UC Star Station SY920. Location undisclosed. Fantastic. So how do we disclose it? We could lean on your smuggling contact. Call in that favor. You know who I mean. Our friend on Jimison. Nice one, Jazz. I'll make the arrangements. Okay. Cool. All right, Rook. Next stop, New Atlantis. Again. Your connection times? is Juan Dayu. She's got most of the premium UC smuggling routes locked down tight. If you don't piss her off, she should be able to sneak you past SY920's security. Just remember to count your fingers after you shake hands with her. Don't worry. We know how to deal with her type. Oh god, you so unexpecting as a trader, Sarah. Do you expect any trouble? You're in the fleet. You should always expect trouble. Stupid question. As far as Juan goes, even though she's one of our newer contacts, you shouldn't have any problems dealing with her. Sounds like she be useful. I sure hope so. Because she might be our only crack at finding a decent decryption device. Once Juan gets you past the guard dogs, it's going to be on you to locate the comm spike. According to the data we have, it's in the prototype phase, meaning there should only be a single device aboard the station. Basically, you break it, you bought it. Ah. Now we'll see it for a quest mark, I don't know. I don't need to ask how it looks, I'll bring it back. One piece. You'd better. For your sake. Oh, and one more thing. SY920 is a UC military installation. That means it's guarded by heavily armed troops. And we both know those idiots don't mess around. If you intend to turn the place into a shooting gallery, you might want to be sure you're hauling an arsenal. Because you're gonna need it. I'm not allowed to anyways. Oh, uh, understood. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Okay, so I'm gonna arrange a meeting with Juan at Kay's place in the well. In the meantime, I'll make sure Jazz comes up with a solution to the electromagnetic atmosphere problem at Bannock 4. Oh, okay, you'll make sure. More like get drunk while Jazz does all the hard work. Typical privileges of rank my darling we'll discuss it a little later and you get the hell out of here and don't come back without that calm spike in your cargo bay oh let me guess let's be in couple no i'm not having questions i just can't allow to shoot anything in this goddamn mission you looking to start something because i'll finish it Oh yeah. Need something? Yeah. You backing off? Not the tough now, eh? I see a down on the goddamn new Atlantis. It's just a schnitzel yacht. I'm running around places too much. Hm. There's so much goddamn loading time. So much loading times. Hm. I take it oh, your boy. neighbor's new recruit? I'm never gonna get used to staring at them for one minute before the audio comes through. Oh, uh, the name you know, Hunter. And rest assured, if I ever need to remember it, I will. Okay. That's why cool. 920 is one of my regular stops, so I already have the necessary approvals. Neva says you're after a piece of UC tech, so to get it, we're going to need to get you on board. I can do that, but I have conditions. Oh, let's see them. Good. If I can be candid, for this job to work, we'll have to do this my way. We take my ship, and you're a member of my crew. Oh, but make God. no mistake, once you board, the risk is entirely yours. This route is highly lucrative, and sacrificing it is not an option. Sarah Morgan, there's more at stake than just your route. 
is that option? Will she, will she say that? I don't know. There's more at stake than just no. your route. We're determined to get on that station, with or without your help. I realize this is important to Delgado. I also know he would just as soon kill me to get what he's after. I'm simply setting boundaries to help protect my interests, while still serving Delgado's. In any case, when you're ready, meet me at my ship. It's the Jade Swan. Mm. And make sure you're prepared for the long haul. Once you're on board SY920, you can't come and go as you please. Got it. How much to know about the job? Only what I've been told. Get you on SY920, get you out if I can. That if. being said, I can be a better guide if I know what it is we're after. So it's up to you. I don't think you should know that. Never said you don't need to know the details. Fine by me. If this goes bad, the less I know, the better. And if I do get caught, there'll be nothing to confess to. Oh, I like to know who I'm working with. Can you tell me about yourself? I'd like to, but I need to keep a low profile. In my experience, the more people know about you, the more they have over you. Oh. It will help with the mission to know each other's strengths and weaknesses. True. But silence is a powerful thing. I find the best way to get to know someone is to watch them work. Talking mm. just muddies the picture. Anyways, I, like her. I appreciate the small talk. Delgado's crew aren't usually so chatty. But let's keep our focus on the mission. We can swap bar stories and share scars when we've got enough creds to buy the bar and fix the scars. I like her. She's cool. She's charisma and is professional at a job. How often do you dock at this station? Enough to be on a first-name basis with the marines working the comps. Mm. It also helps they want us to dock. A cargo ship means supplies, special requests, slates from home. In the void of space, a cargo hauler is a soldier's best friend. And they probably are into you. We'll talk more on the ship. Yeah. I guess I can sell stuff while I'm at the well. Yeah, <laughs> see ya. Uh, on the ship. I just saw that gun. That's the gun we got as a reward. That's a cool looking gun. The Keo Howler. It's a pistol. How am I gonna test that in a second then? Probably not. Everything peaceful here. Damn, ladies and gentlemen. That is her ship. Every time I come out from Windows to start recording, the screen went like this, goes like this into the menu of screen with better games that are better optimized. That doesn't happen, but stuff it ain't good optimized. So many games just work borderless flawlessly in the background where you even hear the music of the goddamn game. When you enter out, Cycle Frontier is a good example. They even have an option that silences the music a little bit when you go into Windows mode. I don't That's suppose free. I have time for a nap before we leave. Hmm? You go for a nap, girl. Because you're apparently not supposed to come along. Door. Thanks for the medkit team. Are you that girl? Always looking for the next mark. No, it's Jade Swan crew I was about to. Okay, thanks for opening this. Holy hell, what the hell? Damn, the ship is gigantic. As long as the credits keep rolling in, life's good. Look at those windows. She even has windows hey. in her ships. How did you install windows? It's another cargo hold, yeah. Damn, that ship is better than mine. How the hell is that not stealing? That's insane. Mikasa Sukasa. Nobody can stop the Crimson Fleet. Why do yes. you say that? Yes. Howdy. Yes, what? 
They're all androids. They're all androids. I stick out with more red armor. Okay. No! <laughs> no! Oh. That hurt. Inside here. Just wanted to look around. My sandwich now. Holy Jesus Christ. That's a big time, Captain. They tell me I can actually just take stuff out of a safe. Sure. <laughs> and she just looked at me. Like, did he just do that? Okay, sure. Mikasa oh, Sugar. For God's sake, drop some of that rubbish already. There, take it. Oh, she doesn't like that. She stuttered. Oh, come on. Have something, something for me? Yes, it's a new dress. The resources. Is that stuff that heavy? E. 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 Yeah, that stuff is heavy. Wow, thanks, girl. Holy Jesus Christ, those were Until heavy later. loads. Hello. Oh, she's even a pilot. Damn, your ship is impressive, girl. Stutter. All right, a few things to note. Stutter. 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 When we Stutter. get to the checkpoint, you see military will be hailing us. Let me do the talking. Pretend you're a piece of cargo if you have to. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Of course. I don't expect it to be. Rest assured, Delgado put us on this job for a reason. We're professionals. Oh, shut up. Well, that might say more about the rest of his goons than it does you. But, point taken. Now, like I said before, once we take off, there's no turning back until this job is done. If you need to take care of anything before we leave, do it. If you want to ask me any other questions, go for it. Hmm. Let's go. All right, then get comfortable. We leave for SY920 immediately. All crew prepare for takeoff. Burn this is coming. Engine and grab drive. All systems go. I don't take my helmet off. Because I'm a badass. I don't think there's an option where you are sitting around without a helmet. Nah, no risk. I'm gonna wait through it patiently, like a good boy. Ha! Huh, look at that. I'm gonna check that now. Helmet. Nope. Display interface. Accessibilities. God, game. You're so We're shit going to with your SY options. From here. Don't worry about your personal ship. The fleet will make sure it's secure. You can take this time to prepare. Just. Try not to bother my pilot while they're flying. Don't worry, Captain. I've spent half my life walking and chewing gum at the same time. I can handle a little banter. Sounds like you're putting in a request for double duty. Captain, I retract my earlier statement. For the record, I don't even like gum. <laughs> Noted. Just get us there safe. Roger that. I like her dab. Maybe you can join her crew. Ooh, holy hell. Thanks for the double loading screen. 30 seconds of talk, new loading screen. Can I have another one? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, another one, please. Oh. You've entered secure UC military space. Identify yourself or you will be considered hostile. Mm, stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Cargo class ship ID UC-7938, requesting permission to dock. Identity confirmed. Prepare your ship for scanning. You're clear to dock at docking bay 2. Looks like oh, we're clear. Yeah. We'll talk more once we're docked. On the ship. And wait for the next loading screen in a few seconds. Okay, I need to stand up. 
God, you don't even have a no-helmet option. Hey, Sarah, showing you right. You weren't even Hello. supposed to come along. Hello. Mm. Okay, we're in. First things first. The station is enormous, with checkpoints everywhere. To get past them, you'll need a military uniform. And to get a uniform, you'll need to get to the barracks. There should be a way through the vents. You can get to them via the maintenance door downstairs. There's an intercom there as well, where we can make contact. Once you get a uniform, it should be fairly easy to find an elevator to the command bay. But, if at any point your cover's blown, I'm gone. Oh boy, this is gonna end badly. Oh. Oh, don't worry, they won't suspect the thing. I would hope not. But if they do... We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Either way, for now, get on that station and find that intercom. We'll talk more then. Pardon. God I damn. Where this will all lead. This will go badly, go. And Sarah won't need the uniform, just me. Wait. The flight suit? No, it's not a flight suit. This will end badly. Badly, let me tell you. Can I just go on to the ship without nothing? Oh, I'm already feeling because I didn't take the slight flight suit slightly onto me. Stood up, stood up, stood up. Oh, I love the loading screen status. That's how you realize the game is next gen. Oh god, such a big loading screen for a small station where you probably need to go through a second door anyways to start a new loading screen. Mm. Why isn't the captain coming with us? I'll head to my crew position. What? God, this is gonna go badly. Hello? Stood up. Hello. You with the Jade Swan? Loading and yeah. unloading only. Stay clear of the military barracks. Okay. Do your job, keep your head down, and we won't have trouble. This seems like it's the place I can't go to. Elevator right down. Button. Chop, go. Chop. I'm in the cargo bay, just checking in. And you found the intercom. That's a start. If I'm not mistaken, the maintenance door should be in front of you. Yeah, so. If you find it. a way to open it, it'll get you past the first checkpoint. I see what I can do. I'm not worried. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Please don't anyway, let me the door will pick. let you access the vents. Go up the vents and to the barracks. You should find a uniform there. The uniform mm. should get you through the checkpoint and to the elevators. We'll talk again once you get to the command bay. Please, no lock picking. <laughs> and I'm already fucked. And I'm already fucked. Well done. Every time I turn around, I feel like I'm hitting another checkpoint. Man, is it break time yet? Have you seen Elijah? Probably downstairs searching for his maintenance key. Oh no. Oh no. Where's even lock picking as a skill? Is this, this, this a tech? Science? Social? Theft? Negotiation? Physical? Would make no sense though. Gymnastics. Oh no. Oh no. Well done. We're in this point of the game. Surveying, zoo weapon, research, medicine, space of design, scanning. Oh no. Botany tech. It's gotta be here then. 
advanced log. Sorry for the guy. He'd look. I don't know five or six goddamn dog pics with me. I mean, honestly, are we sure? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! The whole game. I hate lock picking. Oh. 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 This should work at least. Okay, maybe I'm figuring it. Look, picking out a little bit. Nope. Oh, damn. Not this one. Picking game new. Why didn't they go with the old perfect one? Oh god damn! Yeah. This sure so doesn't work. same thing you know come on I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> oh, how is that supposed to work even? I don't. I don't. The whole game. Oh my god. Didn't see the damn thing. Sorry, Sarah. I found back there. God, I hate lock picking. What the hell are you? Kind of glitched the mission now. Oh, I need to 
find the goddamn armor. The fuck, my waist lock. this Christ. I hate this I hate the lock picking game in this game so badly it's a locker room so there's a high chance there's armor here or that or uniform that I need to wear I can't believe oh. you just stole that. I can't believe you've made it through. Okay. I guess I will have to go loud. Damn. Oh no. Tell me it's in here. Nope. Nope. That's what Sarah. You're gonna hate me. Yep, they're gunning down Sarah. Ah, oh, I'm not wearing my armor that makes me invisible. Yes. Just if I stand still though. You got this. Oh god, what did I bring here? This is absolutely cursed. If I let her do all the dirty work. Not getting any bounties. Okay. But she's still gonna be mad if I steal stuff. Got any weapons or ammo? They do. A good job killing them. Oh boy. Oh boy. This went wrong so 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 much. The Marines on this station are some of the best in the galaxy. Sure. Talk to me. What was that noise? Oh, she's probably gonna be mad at me when I kill someone. No? 
target acquired! Ah! Injured. Injured, eh? Push! Push! Ah! Guess we're going in loud. Heads up! Move, move. Enemy at my location! It's a turret, damn it. Aha. You're through. We killed the turret, please. Oh, she's going mad. What's everybody dead here? Probably need to find another way out now. So, still can't steal stuff. Probably. Okay, it's probably terminal here. They opened it up. Yes. Doors. Remote robot control. Can I change that? No signal. Damn it. Turret control. It's probably because I. Uh, turrets on my side. Ne. Wow. We went loud. Oh, there's the uniform. Lovely. Put it on. I'm sure they will see it under my outfit. I'm sure I'm in the clear now. No troubles from now on. Turret is at least on my side. Okay, that gun is worthless. I wanted to test the pistol. Got them sneezes. Hey, do I have something to eat? Don't even want to reach all of that. Here we go. Ah, pack. Where's my food? Lum. There we go. Sparkling water. Actually on my side now. Nothing wrong with me. I'm alright, soldiers. I don't think they like Sarah though. This is what we train for! <laughs> yeah, this is what I trained for. The pistol is nice. Commander's not gonna happen with me. Damn. God damn. God damn dog pigs, stick pigs. I'm dick picking. Stop. Stop. Oh yeah. Oh no, that's not an intercom. He's not gonna be happy with me, let me tell ya. Yep, I went loud. Oh. Oh. 
I've made it into the command bay. I set off on alarm day. Let's try to work through it and come up with a plan. If you found a uniform, be sure to put it on. They'll provide some cover. Don't know what you're after, but I'm guessing there'll be another checkpoint. This far down, you might need a clearance code. Oh, oh so a modern option. Plenty of options to be sure. We just need to choose the one that plays to our strengths. Right. You know yourself, you'll know the best path forward. If the two of you plan on using a disguise, try the security office. Otherwise, there's always a way around. Shooting, Going down for yes. now, we'll talk again once you've located your target. You're headed down to the engineering bay. Well, you better hurry. You know what they say, Marine. If you're 15 minutes early, you're still 10 minutes. Okay, I need your clearance code, Marine. Oh, since when was this area restricted? It's been that way since Commander Natara took over. No entry in the command bay without a clearance code. Ah, oh, I must have gotten turned around. Say, you might want to track down your commanding officer and have them clarify your post. Maybe they'll draw you a map. Mm hmm. Thank you. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to steal one utility. Might be one in here. Nope. Then if the game would look a little bit sharper. Oh look, I went. That would work. Oh, what are you? Oops, wrong button. So, it's a knife. A little knife. Finally, some multiple options to get rid of these problems. Damn it, I wanted to buckle on top of that. Shit. <laughs> no buckle. Is that the way? Oh yeah, look. Oh, project. Come spike. Okay, I got it. Come spike proposal. Project's approval. I'll read through the other things. With that, I mean, I will click on them. Maybe that's a gun, one of them I can use. Ah, oh, records. Cool. Open door. Damn, this is a labyrinth. They look like they're hunting for someone. Put this way instead. Never mind. I don't want to yeah, do that. Better food around here. Pardon? Yep. You are pardoned. Um. Is that where I need to go, actually? On this right line, then it's just another elevator. I'm confused now. Okay. Might just be the same thing, they're just having two elevators to take. Oh, god, engineering bay. No, I'm gonna go with this one.
Oh god, what the hell is going on? Don't confuse me like that, game. Oh, I'm about to be done, I'm falling asleep. Oh, those loading screens are bad. The poor made you sleep. How long is this part already? Damn, it's 32 minutes. Maybe it's gonna be a six hour video. Because this is just. All crew accounted for. We are ready to depart. What? Uh, how are you talking about? I don't think I'm in the right place. I don't think I'm in the right place. Am I? Who the hell is this dude? Intercepting transponder data in the Hoffa system might be promising. Wait, who are you? Why are you in here? Did you not see the sign? Oh. I'm the person in charge of Project UC86. Oh, yes. I've been studying decryption of all types for quite a long time. Probably since before you took your first crab jump. Signal protocol, quantum ratchet symmetry, interleaving data extrapolation. You name it, I've lectured on it. I've probably forgotten half of it, but I definitely knew it once. Oh. I'm with the security team. I need you to hand over the comm spike. The comm spike? But... I can't just hand it to you. It's a module for a ship. It's attached to a prototype in one of our docking ports. We're still in the testing phase, running decryptions across a variety of signal types. But the results so far have been very promising. It can even interpolate signal data lost in the retrieval. It really is a wondrous technology. Oh, security decryption on the level has vast military implications. No wonder the U.S. is interested in it. Yes, it's not quite cracking the Enigma code, but it will give us a significant tactical advantage. We'll be able to infer everything from battle plans to meal consumption. Not that we'd care about that sort of thing, outside of the effects of diet on combat readiness. And yes... There are certain kinks to be worked out, missing parts, and the occasional traumatic injury here and there, but it's all part of the adventure. Oh, sounds like it's not entirely ready. Oh, it's ready. We're long past the inference stage. Statistical models can only go so far. And now that we've corrected the prior mishaps, it's time for real flesh and blood pilots to stress test the systems. The kind unafraid to make the necessary sacrifices. Well, that's In short, me. I've requested a full squadron of these brave and fearless marines to be transferred to the station. They'll give the prototype a final run, and provided there are minimal casualties, we can present our findings to Mast. Betray you on. I'm one of those new test pilots, actually. Splendid. That was fast. I thought I put in the request this morning. Normally my requests aren't given this much attention, let alone haste. It seems a tad suspicious. Oh god, I need to succeed here. We don't have time for this. I was thought this was an emergency. You're right. We do need to hurry if we're going to have this module ready in time. Oh, I'm a test pilot. Why would I lie? You make a compelling case. God. This isn't for a reason. I didn't make some sense. The commander said my documents were in order. I could check that right now. Commander Natara, you say? Oh, well, we don't want to make her angry. She's terrifying. All right, you've convinced me. You're the new test pilot. 
You'll need a uniform and a terminal password to authorize a flight and get past Natara's cumbersome checkpoints. The uniform you can get in the locker room area, the password you get from me. You'll find the prototype ship at Docking Bay 8. Use the password to access the flight terminals in the control center. And of course, best of luck. You are doing science a great service by undertaking this sacrifice. Oh my god, damn. 14 meters. Lovely. Oh, look, we're actually finding a goddamn uniform for once. Oh, the Spotted Space Suit. Go. Guess we're gonna wear that too. Lovely. Looking good. Pilot, pilot, pilot. What now? Oops. Hey, there's someone here. Pilot. I like taking the big human sized vans and you pilot. Let's take elevator. Six. Yes. Six. Meters this direction. No. How do I get over there? Do I need to take the elevator again? Oh god damn game. It's not like the minimap is readable. I'm just gonna tear. Guess that I need to take the elevator. Oh, loading time. I'll see you when I get progress. Ah, I found a way. It was another vent. So now I'm there, I believe. Not quite. Not quite. Yes. 50 meters, this might lead me where I need to be. Uh, yes, yes, it does. Let's go. Oh no, that might be another optional thing. And we're getting out of a prototype ship. I didn't want to snitch on the other captain. On the girl. Can't remember her name. Ayin, Yuan. She was too nice. Too nice. Professional. Yep, tired. Tired as hell. I need to go to sleep after this is done. Another ship. It's probably nicer looking from the inside than ours. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Draw my kid in there, I see it. Maybe we can even keep the ship. Jump see, that's probably a safe somewhere with money. No? Jump see, it's nothing. Ah, nothing, damn it. Quick save before we get blasted. Ship, you are not cleared for takeoff. What's going on over there? Hailing all UC ships. The intruder has the prototype. Engage at once. Oh no. Mother. Ugh. Okay. Let's get out of here. I will not talk to that dude. Can I make that jump? Can I make that jump? I can make that jump. Ryan. Just something that sounds safe. Set course. Just set course. Jump. Jump. 
Trump. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will never get tired of that. That looks like an enemy ship. So we need to jump immediately again. Fine. What? You know what, Robin? Fine. You win. I'll ask this random stranger in the depths of space if they know how to no. get where we're going better than I do. Unknown ship, you read? Oh. Thanks. You're a lifesaver. My wife and I are trying to get to Volai Alpha. I keep telling her we're on the right track, but she insists our heading's wrong. That's because we did jump past it. Robin, can you go five minutes without interrupting me? Maybe if oh you God. listen to me every once in a while, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Oh, I'm in a hurry. Let's skip the trauma. I'm with you. Unlike some people on this ship. Oh, so now I'm the dramatic one. You've got some nerve. Oh my Do you God. know the way or not? The sooner we get off this ship, the better. I don't think I do. Oh, I've no oh, idea. Great. Thanks for nothing, pal. John, that's no way to treat a stranger. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, I'm never going to hear the end of this. Thanks for your help. Make your way. I didn't even listen. Uh, that's Starfighter. Where are we? There, yeah, Griggs. And where's that godforsaken key? There we go. That's all for today. Wow, you see if they give us a special cutscene. We have balls at the end of our ship. Balls up! Oh, I hope that brings us to the final part of the mission. Because damn, this is a big, long, big boy mission. With casualties, we killed people. Zero didn't mind, so it doesn't Sweet matter. Jump. Nice work. Was it? I'm not sure about that. Let's cook, I uh, mean, talk. Okay, a little bit of Stella. Very nice and tied in. Solid docking job there. Nice oh, work. Oh, thank you. Board. Before I get bored, two more loading screens to go. Then we can talk to the people here. Unless Nirvana is not next to Lizzie this time, or is he? Oh god damn, loading screen, god damn. No. Skip. I didn't need to skip. Well, well, well. Welcome back, Rook. Captain. Looks Hello. like you got a new toy for I me. I am satisfied. Go on to in, give everyone the loadout. We'll take care of things from here. Cycle. God, everybody, please talk. That's a real nice ship you brought in. I Head can't wait in. to tinker with it. We'll take the ship to another port so Jazz can have a look. What the hell is there something here? Let's go through. God, this loading screen always takes forever. Stood up. Wait, there are multiple mission marks now. I don't trust shielding. I got secret compartments on my ship. Let's speak to Juan at the last Nova. That's a bar in here. Just in case. Damn, it's gonna take a while before I find it, I believe. Let's go there. Oh, okay, last talk before I finish this game for the day and finish this quest tomorrow. Yo, you on? Well, you certainly made a lot of noise on that station. Mm hmm. Stood up, stood up, stood up. It's not my style, personally. But you got the job done. That's what matters. Mm. 
Well, sometimes you have no choice but to shoot. It depends on the individual. Your skills are what determine your choices. You bail before I can make the offer, but I'd like to buy you a drink to say thanks. It's the last time I'm paying, of course. Because if Dalgado's right about Crix's legacy, you've earned more than your fair share already with that calm spike. Did Dalgado clue you in on the calm spike? Yeah. Although I get why you didn't give me the details. If I had known this was about the legacy, I might have asked for a bigger cut. Oh. Oh, nobody wastes my time. The legacy better be real. You read my mind. I don't like the thought of putting my routes in jeopardy over an old story. But I respect Delgado, and I believe he's on to something. What that is, though, remains to be seen. Discovering Crix's legacy would solve one of the settled system's great mysteries. Oh, I'm as curious and excited as anyone to see what we'll find. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. Now that you've had your drink and my debt is paid, it's time for you to give Delgado the good news. Oh, yay. What first? Certainly. Let's talk about something else. Normally, pirates How did don't the Crimson Star become the Crimson Fleet? After I busted out of the lock, I decided to take things to the next level. What is it? I had the key, a few three ships, and a couple dozen ex-cons at my side. Everybody, just please talk over each other. So I sent out the call. And sadly, you can't finish that during a goddamn tour loading screen. Ah, peace out. I mean, you will see the next part anyways, but I'm done here. Oh God, let's finish this. Let's All finish these this. Were Shut up, Kriggs. Do you feel these embarrassing failures led them to form... Jasmine tells stuff? me that you not only brought us the comp spike, <laughs> but an entire Absolutely. prototype PC ship. They've clearly I'm given up and with. decided to shove the responsibility impressed. onto a separate division. That way, in the public eye, the UC Navy can move forward proud and strong, while UC SysDef continually takes all the blame. It's all about PR spin for them, Gail. That's how the UC operates. Kind of disgusting, don't you think? Hmm. Sounds a bit like you're trying to deflect attention off the atrocities the Crimson Fleet commits on a daily basis. Atrocities, huh? How about fighting the Freestar Collective over a bunch of rocks hanging in space? How about thousands of people dying while a bunch of pencil-pushing bastards sit in a cushy office and draw lines on a star map? Maybe the United Colonies should stop the out? bullshit and take a hard look in the mirror to see who the monsters really are. Bomb Spike was burnt into the ship, so I didn't really have a choice. Should have taken the compliment, Rook. Dale doesn't give those out often. I couldn't listen. Juan gave us the full rundown of your little smash and grab operation. She said you had to start a fight on the station. So it sounds like things didn't go smoothly. Lucky for you, I don't give a damn how many Marines you killed. Your job was to get the comp spike, whatever the cost. Now, on to the business at hand. Jasmine, are you there? Yep, I'm here, boss. What's up? How's it going? I already have two of my crew tearing the ship apart from one end to the other. Comp spike shouldn't be too tough to extract. I'm looking forward to seeing what those UC techs have been up to. Keep me posted. All right. That leaves our electromagnetic atmosphere problem. And I think we've discovered a solution. There's a corporation in the city of Neon called Jennerdyne. They're responsible for the massive conduction grid that powers the city. We get our hands on their electrical absorption tech, and Jasmine swears she can tame it to handle Bannock 4. Damn, I guess I'm gonna go to Neon the first time. I know the city well, so <laughs> I I never was there, but apparently I'm a Neon Street Red. Uh, I know the city well, so that should help. Perfect. That means you know how to handle the locals on Neon, mm -hmm. which gives you a head start. Now, why don't you give us the info on our Neon contact? You get to meet up with the lovely Estelle Vincent. She's had her deft 
little fingers on the pulse of neon for some time now. Whatever info you need, I guarantee she can get. Estelle is one of the most reliable captains we have in the fleet. If I want something done, there's none of the typical bullshit. It gets done, and afterward, we all split the cash. I'm sure we get alone just fine. Alone. We're gonna get alone. No, no, no. There is no getting along here. You are going to do everything she asks. Follow her instructions to the letter. She is valuable to the fleet. You piss her off and we lose her as a contact, you're going to be answering to me. Uh, Understood. We'll do our best to remain on her good side. Never Thanks, mind Sarah. the good side. You'd be better off appealing to her bank account. That is what drives her. Estelle will be waiting at Madame Savage's place. I'd say don't keep her waiting. But chances are she won't mind. Girl loves her liquor. And keep your eyes on the price. Neon's one big distraction for people like us. So I want you focused. We are one step away from Quix's legacy. And we cannot afford any screw-ups. I want this done immediately. Well, I actually never been to Neon, so that wouldn't be nice to explore. Oh my god, I need to go to the UCC again. Ah, oh, that's the stupid part of the mission that you lucky to get speared off. Oh, I don't know who the hell is Elias and why do Elijah and why do he still need to talk to him? Oh, B, show me. Don't show me Elijah. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go back there. I'm sorry, game. Screw that. Pro -pro 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 and wait. Pro wait, 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 wait. Isn't, isn't the UCC here? Which one? B. Okay, see it down there. It's gonna take forever. Oh, I can't imagine people let's playing this or doing this on stream and they Remember wait every turn in any evidence fragments you find. And they let you wait every time you have a loading screen for 30 seconds. For one minute. At ease. Good. The more you find, the stronger our case. Oh Got this piece of information on a certain gold bank employee who was aboard the Siren of the Stars. Oh, who is that, actually? Are you kidding me? Dombrowski was already making a six-figure salary, and yet he couldn't resist starting an embezzlement scheme. It makes me sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be an absolute pleasure to throw his butt in prison. Any other fragments? He was the guy who... I'll be here if you have any more questions. Oh, fancy. Also, I'm pretty sure every... Female and Word man has steal classified tech from a UC station. pretty much the same body type, and I hate it. Early reports say your mission on the siren was a success. I'm sure that's a Ubisoft and Bethesda thing, but they couldn't give Anything people a different body type and height. The vigilance is a state-of-the-art warship. Oh, Anyone smaller than me too. That's why they are NPCs. Hey, I want to talk to you right now. Oopsie. I have mass breathing down my neck. They're ready to shut down this entire operation. Yeah. You open fire on SY920 and kill people. Just who the hell do you think you are? Yeah, you you sent me down there. Oh, what am I supposed to do when I run out of options? You search for more options. And when those oh. fail, you search for even more. Anything that prevents you from drawing that weapon. Oh, the only reason awesome. you should be opening fire on anyone is in the defense of your own life. Actually, Sarah did the most killing. Oh, I didn't have a choice. You always have a choice. No. People have died because you were too stubborn to find a safer solution. This is not how you see system operates. If you do it again, you're off this operation and I'll have Toph throw you in the brig. I will kill all It'll of you. my pleasure, sir. Oh. All right. I think we're all in agreement here. So let's get back to the operation at hand. 
Please no. give me your report. No. Where's the option where I tell him if he talks to me like that again, I will s just betray him. Ah, oh, what do you mean, time is short? With the acquisition of the Comspike, the fleet is one step closer to Crix's legacy. And the more people we arrest, the greater the chance that your infiltration is discovered. We're working against the clock here, so let's start by discussing the status of the Comspike. I just want to stay right here. You're an asshole. And both boss, lay, both, both guys, the second in command, I actually like both of them. I like her and I like Nivana, Nyuka, Nyoka. Both, both boss guys. <laughs> I hate both of them. Uh, him, especially with that speech he just gave me, so I still don't know who I'm gonna side with. A cargo ship. Nope, I will not. Tell her about Captain Juan, I like Captain Juan. The guard who has Jasmine Durand working on the comp spike. Then it's just a matter of time before she reverse engineers it to fit the fleet's purposes. So what does Delgado have you doing next? Has he solved the Bannock 4 problem? Because obviously it's his fault that he let this operation get too far, so far because he wants the money after all. He wants to get them money and not bring them down. We could have brought them down a long time ago. He believes Credence conduction grid in Neon is the key. The conduction grid? That's brilliant, but is it actually possible? It's 80 year old tech. Sorry, sir. The conduction grid is how Neon generates its power. It essentially absorbs lightning strikes and converts it to usable energy. It would take a hell of an engineer to modify the technology to handle Bannock 4 ZM field. An engineer, like Jasmine Durand. That's the case. Inform our contacts on Neon that our operative will be touching down there in the near future. Absolutely, sir. And before you depart, I wanted you to know that your efforts are helping us gain interest among my superiors. Oh. We're finally beginning to believe that we can take down the Crimson Fleet. And make amends for the UC's embarrassing mistake. That's the real question. Aren't you concerned that the fleet is getting too close to Crick's legacy? Of course I am. But it's a calculated risk. Oh yeah. We're gonna cash in on that money, right? What's embar what embarrassing mistake? The fact that our common enemy owes its existence to the United Colonies, of course. It was the riot at the lock touched off by Jasper Creeks that inspired him to create the Crimson Fleet in the first place. Thanks to your assistance, we'll be able to rectify that mistake, and Mast will authorize an all-out assault. I, by the way, have joints on Blaine offline. On my notebook a few days ago, I've joined the UC Vanguards, which is kind of funny that I'm now thinking of joining the Crimson Fleet. Oh, that means I'm getting a pay increase, eh? I'll see what I can do. You've certainly gone above and beyond the Call of Duty. All right, oh. I suppose that's all for now. I'll be looking forward to your next report. Good luck. And please. Be careful. I will kill everyone in my way, and Sarah's gonna love it. Sarah, Sarah did most of the work. He said Call of Duty, now I need to betray them. Sh shut it. Shut it. Well, I'll kill all of you right now. I've got that difficulty. Okay, see you on Neon. Mission update. Absolute power. Where's Vasco? I wanna stop this during a loading screen since Neon is supposedly very cool and I wanna see how it looks and how much I'm kinda stutter mostly because so far the game has been running smoothly but I've only been a port board some small spaceships. Funny I've waited 30 seconds in the loading screen and still Landing like 15 issues. seconds. Watch your flaring. Yeah that's very colorful and very neon. There's the first audio glitch. That's not too bad because those landing sounds suck anyways. Oh, my ship is cool.
A lot of people recommend that you start off with Neon and not Atlantic. Which, damn, yeah, this city is looking damn cool. This should be the place where the most stutter st happens normally. But not so far. Maybe my game is finally patched up enough with mods that it's not too bad anymore. The See rain doesn't look good. Covering neon? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Hmm. Okay, let's see what ships to sell. You? Hey, what can I do for you? Stutter, 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 stutter. Yeah, it's always bad with the ship technicians. I'm sure you can find something you like. I also want to see which kind of people I can get for my ship in this place. Falcon 2. Bleh. There's nothing on the Millennial Falcon. Warhammer doesn't look bad. Never played a Warhammer game. Dragonfire. Oh yeah, I see. I see. That doesn't look bad. Can't even fly it. Wreck the sea. Not even better than my ship. My ship is slaying every competition so far. Vernisher. Wreck the sea. Pff, that's just a sandwich. The war hose. Sadly, I didn't have any space battles with that bad boy. God, I love that ship. Definitely worth the investment. Okay, let's go for Neon the first time. I'm gonna look out for two things. Well-known companions that we can see. I've looked for the companion Looks list. Looks like some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably... See that shroud covering Neon? Shh. Believe it or not. You're looking Shut it. at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Yeah. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step through. Oh no. Right. Good Get luck with that. Turn around. Try to... And he dies actually and I missed it. Ah, can smuggle any Aurora here. God damn, this game would be so cool if it would run smoothly without 10,000 loading screens. And that's definitely a mood killer. Ah, oh, stutter, 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 stutter. Even if it would run smoothly, smoothly those goddamn loading screens, yo. Great authority. Sublime medical. Well, with all signs pointing to the astral lounge, I suppose we should pay it a visit. Purely mining for laboratory purposes, of course. Three star rangers, is that's where the side quests are? Not. Jesus Christ, there's somewhere a terminal. Uh, I need to get something off my chest. I need to get towards this direction. Oh, there's nothing in the trade for it normally. This district certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. What the hell do I go on downstairs? Uh, besides, I still want to look around a little bit. There's one thing I'm looking for and that's random crew companions. Maybe Welcome here? Off world Earth to the hotel no. Your home away from home. Here. It's time to see yourself through new eyes. Holy oh, Jesus Christ, every door. It's loading screen. Kill for a cup of coffee right about now. I don't want. Jesus Christ, why does every door have a loading screen? Are spread throughout the settled systems, so you can do your banking your own way, on your own time. If Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every ship in the settled systems. Just to launch, I'm gonna look up there. I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of Average the house. Hmm, I don't think screen door. Yep, some model needs to fix that badly. It's insane how many doors there are to make you load into stuff. Look at that. Oh my god. 
I will find any companions here. Every door has a loading screen. That's insane. Oh, oh yeah. I can feel the beta alienine running through my veins already. That's something similar to creatine, if you're wondering. From the pre workout drink. Just looking out for you. Diggers and mine. No. I will. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad part of town, buddy. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna do you a favor. Head back to Bayou Plaza before the disciples get you. Oh, I think I can handle myself. Hey, it's your ass, not mine on the line. Whole area's gone to hell. Us crate rats used to think the Ebside strikers were awful, with all the muggings and shakedowns, but now that they're on the ropes, <sighs> kinda wish they weren't just holed up in Madame Sauvages. Streets are getting bad. Real bad. Oh, I might check these girls out. Well, you'll find them at Madame Sauvages. They're always holding auditions, as they call. So, for being so helpful, yeah, I thought, I thought. And all. Have a heart. I thought he's gonna say that. No, I knew he had an anger. Not this time. Can't blame a fellow for trying, right? What? Sarah Monk disliked that. You're gonna get replaced immediately. I'm gonna look up who to find here and how to get them. That is some story. And something to tell your grandkids. No, right? God damn it, Sarah, you're the worst companion. Oh, loading screen. I'm not gonna cut. I'm not gonna cut. I'm gonna wait for it patiently. Am I still recording? Yes. Just quick save. Damn it, game. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. <laughs> Stood up. Maybe that's where I can find random crew for my ship. Look, I ain't gonna stand around here all day, right? You want the stuff or not? I'm still interested. What a city, am I right? Going rate. You try a velocity yet? Change your life. Oops. Excuse me. And I've never paid this much. Upable companions. Take it easy. Now, this is the last time I'm gonna. Yes. Then I'm walking away. Do you want this stuff or not? Dear Grace, upable companions. Stood up. What are you looking at? This? This is Ebside Striker's turf. Aren't Only you? the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? Aren't you someone I can get as a companion? Feels more like a regular bar to me. This is such bullshit. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. What are the disciples like? I mean, the strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the disciples? Psh, total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. Maybe it's the other Gotham Montreal that's gonna be a follower. Oh, the disciples sound terrible. I want to talk to whoever is in charge. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. <laughs> Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, <laughs> want to join the Ebside Strikers. Oh, what's so fun? <laughs> oh, nothing. Joining us now is great. People are banging down our door to go down with this ship. Oh, 
take me to Briggs and I'll think about joining. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. I won't follow Maybe you, by the way. Try a velocity? It breaks. Nope, not yet. Um, who do I need to talk to? Upstairs, upstairs. Would have sworn she is one of the followers. Yeah. Yeah. You look similar to the other lady we met. Quick save. Hey. You looking to get zoned? No, just to get boned. I'm trying to stay away from the aurora. Thanks. Not trying to score some of the good stuff. Okay. Mm. That means you're the rook that Delgado sent. Well, let me save both of us some time. Turn around, fly back to the key, and tell the big boss that I'm in no mood to screw around. We'll make this deal when he starts taking me seriously. I know, right? Can't go killing people around here anymore. Cut the crap and get to work. I need specifies. I mean. Specifics, huh? Okay. Fine. I spent the last three months setting up this job, burned two contacts and a hell of a lot of credits. The whole time, I'm also keeping Bayou off our backs. That idiot even catches a whiff of money and he latches onto you like a damn leech. The few times I've dealt with Benjamin Bayou in the past have been rather unpleasant, to say the least. Thanks, Sarah. Rami Reva. Rami Reva. <laughs> I can't. That's the way it's gonna be, huh? Fine. I don't have a ton of time to stand here and screw around, so I'm gonna make this as clear as possible. You want the conduction grid tech, then you're gonna have to download it from the power core of Jennerdyne's facility in the underbelly. Okay. That sounds easy enough. Love the confidence. But before you pull the ripcord, I'm afraid I need to add a bit of a wrinkle. Oh, While God. you're inside Jennerdyne, I need you to plant a virus into their system. It's a simple side job that'll earn you some credits. I think you can handle it. Why? Why should I bother doing this favor for you? Oh, the God never mentioned anything about a virus. That's because you're planning it for me as a favor. Jennerdyne has all sorts of tasty, valuable snacks in their databanks. And I want access. Here, take this micro drive and access the computer in Brayson Bayou's office. It'll do the rest on its own. I don't think I will do this. I'll assume I'll be facing some serious security. Oh no. Are you scared, little rabbit? <laughs> well, don't worry. I've got you covered. Jennerdyne's got their place locked down tight. But, as usual, the weak link comes from the people that work there. I recommend you start with Ayumi Komiko, an upper-level exec at Jennerdyne. Get your hands on her security pass, and you'll have the run of the place. Ah, oh, easy. No, I will not kill. That's gotta be catch. The catch is that Komiko's having a little fling with Benjamin Bayou. Anyway, you can find Komiko at Euphorica. Talk to the owner of the place, Micah. She'll point you in the right direction. As for dealing with Komiko herself, She's got an office in the Trade Tower if you're looking for something incriminating. The rest is up to you, Rook. When you're done, come meet me at the VIP booth in the Astral Lounge so we can celebrate. Oh, God. No. No. I don't want to do this. Don't let Komiko push you around. Around. She isn't as tough as she seems. Oh, I have enough of that quest line. Hey there. Hey there. Is Andrea actually a follower? You didn't um, see anything. Catch my drift. Hey, Chunky. I need to look that up. Ah, uh, me time. I'm gonna spare you the wait. Good. I need to go through three loading screens to get here. Also, that Andrea found is the wrong Andrea. That's not okay. a companion at Let's all. Settle this once and for all. That's Velocity a companion. Or Chimera. You kidding? Chimera. Excuse All me. Day. I don't suppose you're looking for a robotics expert, are you? I have a vested interest in getting out of Neon. I could have sworn you're a guy. 
See, you just proved my point. Will you tell me more about your skills first? I have a good deal of experience with machines, especially robots. I'm also an expert in the manufacture of certain chemical substances. But I guarantee I'll figure out whatever job you give me, even if I've never done it before. I've got a good head on my shoulders. Why the hell do you f look like a dude? Okay, let's see how much I have to pay. You and me both. I'll be happy to help. You're a real lifesaver, boss. Thanks. There's Already? just one thing to discuss before I sign on. I'm conducting some independent research in the space lanes. I won't let it interfere with my duties, but I refuse to give it up while I'm working on your crew. Is that going to be a problem? Oh, what type of research? Let's call it colony war history. I'm not comfortable saying anymore right now. Can't trust anyone these days, you know? Uh, so is, she, is she a free member then? No, it won't be a problem. Glad to hear it. Thanks for being open-minded. Oh, and don't bother draining your pockets for my salary. I don't really need the money. Just the job. Oh. If you really mean that, how about we negotiate? That depends. What can you offer? Oh, a crew with only girls. I know you would like to help me if you could. I hear you. <laughs> you won't find a better captain to surf under. <laughs> I'm gonna go right for intimidation. It's a bad move right now. It's to just give me what I want and then walk away. Don't mistake being reasonable for being a pushover. Oof. Oh, I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. God, that's a stupid minigame. That reminds me of a choke I heard the other day. You know what? I may be starting to like you. That's so stupid. I'm sure we can work something out again. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. I'm not taking this job for money. I'll work for a dozen rusty credits as long as I'm able to continue my research. Oh, sure. Even better work on my board. Ooh, that is a relief. I can't wait to get out of the city. I will replace you because you look like a dude. They definitely didn't nail your facial animation school. I owe you a favor. Don't think I'll forget it. See That's up. not a female body. Boss. I mean, the uh, long hair aren't looking that female either. Even the walk. Even the walk, okay. Nothing beats getting zoned in the members' lounge. Welcome. Please, make yourself comfortable. Oh. I can offer you a drink, or perhaps you're here seeking access to our member. Uh, I'm looking for Ayuma Komiki. No, no, not this again. You people should leave her alone. What do you want with her? Oh, I have some document now. Why do you care so much about you, me? Not that it's any of your business, but we're very close. We're in love. I refuse to let anything bad happen to her, no matter how much trouble she's gotten herself into. The old friend excuse won't work. I have some documents for her design. Yeah, sure. Tell me another one. Okay, I'm Your an old friend. These are low-life assholes. She's broke, okay? Now oh. get out of my club before I get really pissed off and have you thrown into the street. No, <laughs> really. I'd like to see you try. Oh, oh, I'm not a debt collector. I'm from the Crimson Fleet. I'm sure that's not gonna get better. The... The Crimson Fleet? Oh. Oh my, I I'm sorry. I had no idea. I didn't mean anything by it, really. Sorry, I just... Well, I worry about her. Ayumi owes a lot of money around town. I'm trying to help her out. But, you know, I have a business to keep afloat. If you want to talk to her, you can find her in the members' lounge. Of course, access to the lounge is going to cost you. And I'm not changing my mind about that. Can I persuade here? Ah, oh, sure, there you go. I'm spending so much money here. Excellent. Then here is your access key. Please let us know if anything in the lounge... Ah, oh, shut up. 
May all your journeys be safe. I'm gonna be broke when this mission is over. A few more loading screens, eh? Let me see. Uh, launch pass. Okay, no loading screen. Oh my god. Who would have thought? Not me. I need a drink. You have a name. Good for you. Oh, there's the people I can hire. Okay. Hello. Care for some more? Uh, Love <laughs> the vibe of this place. Syndicate, syndicate. Oh, I need a key to open the bathroom. Lovely establishment. Look safe. Oh, come on, speed check. I don't. How much money do I actually have? Okay, I have money. For bribing purposes. Yeah. What do you want? Ah, oh, you work for Gennardine, right? Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you are having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Hmm. I need a way into the Gennardine Power Facility. Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. Crimson Fleet? The Crimson Fleet's asking, not me. The Crimson Fleet, huh? This is interesting. So tell me, what does Delgado need with my Pastor Genodyne? Okay. Oops. Still recording. I'm off to con conduction critic. So, let me get this straight. You want me to sneak you into Genodyne so you can steal the only profitable piece of technology the company's come up with in decades. Yeah. If you expect me to take a risk like that, then it's going to cost you some major credits. Oh, who would have thought? Oh, that's when do you care about taking risks? Do you have any idea what Benjamin Bayou would do to me if he found out we were even having this conversation? If I'm going to let you into Genodyne, I need a backup plan. Namely, money to get off world fast. You understand what I'm saying? I don't have to pay you a single credit. Yes, you do. Short of taking it off my dead body, which would never happen thanks to my Sioga buddies here. You don't pay, you don't get the pass. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to attack her anyways. This is all you're getting. You've got yourself a deal. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room entry to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. Ah, oh, there are always other options. <laughs> yeah, it's calling paying people off. How fun. How fun. Ah, see you when I'm there. Too many loading screens. Okay, we're inside. Stood up, stood up. What is the red trench? Stood up. Must be a lot of valuable tech disappearing from Genodyne to justify all the scrutiny of their own employees. What the hell are you talking about, girl? Oh, caliber ammo. I'll take it. I might need it. Over blast this rock door. That gun is worthless, but I will sell it gladly. Milk on tomatoes. Sounds like breakfast. Okay, we ready? We probably need to shoot and somebody's bloody getting mad about it. Maybe not. Maybe they won't care about Neon. The hell was that? Oops. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Thanks for opening the door. I am opening fire. I am taking damage. That gun ain't good against robots. Yep, I'm definitely gonna sneak my way through here. <laughs> Busted in the wind. Ah, oh, dick pics. You find them at the weirdest places, the dick pics. Um, nah, yeah. This isn't worth it! Nothing! Oh, it just killed her. Please, girl. 
Let's go. Oh, she actually did. Insane. That's just a random employee. Okay. Yeah, I don't see my way going through here peacefully. I don't know why random employees want to kill me. That doesn't seem like a smart thing on their parts. Oh, damn. I've been in a... Am I hearing things? This should be... What was that? Oh, they're done for. Ah! If you're searching, then make it quick. <laughs> Sarah, can you stop shooting goddamn innocent employees? We're gonna have a big talk. I'm with the constellation, Sarah, and you can't do crime like that. Do you hear me? Oh do you listen? I won't stick Get around out. with you if you kill oh. innocent people, Sarah. You gotta be better than that. <laughs> You better be out. Sarah is killing innocent people again. Oh god damn it. Yep, I'm definitely got a chance to stealth this. I'm not going down without a fight. We're losing. Okay. Show me what you've got. Things aren't looking. We can't do this. Who said that? Was it you, Sarah? I swear to god. Oh. oh. I'm going to end you. Oh, she bloodthirsty. This is all normal this. employees. There are a lot of normal employees, Sarah. <laughs> oh god. Yep, but she complains when I kill innocent people. Where well, she just runs through here and kills employees. Relax, be up. You wanna come with me? Good. Let's take a trip together. Ah. Oh, we need to talk to the dude too. Okay. Maybe Sarah stops killing everybody and hopefully I can fast travel out of the city. Otherwise, I'm in danger. Credits, ammo. Okay, I'm moving combat now. Oh, I've taken too much with me. Nope. Where's Sarah? I'm carrying my burdens. There he is. Stood up, stood up, stood up, stood up. Stood up for the dude in a long stood up stood up stood up stood up stood up stood up that's awkward Want to see what i'm carrying i've dumped a little bit on you already oh damn she doesn't even have too much inventory space oh, i need to go sell stuff then packs there there damn it Okay. They're long gone now. Bye. Bye. Mm, they got lucky. They got lucky. He says. security. Off the floor back. The gun. I can't do this. Oh, I'm not gonna pay for that. I'm on now. My sensors are styles in range. Massive damage. Yeah. Oh yeah. What up, dude? Ah, oh, I don't know if there was even a peaceful solution to this. <laughs> if the UCC gets unhappy with me i will just kill everybody 
No shit game. And then I will be a criminal forever. Oh, hello. Oh, bro, we don't even have the room for you. Crippling boosted care blubberba Orion. No, I do not. This magazine damage next target of the heating target limbs. Nice. Yeah, that was valuable. It's up still up. Big glitches. Big glitches. Oh yeah. Mm. Sure, we drop stuff too. Six kilo, seven kilo, not worth it. Um, drop is R. Good. Oh, hello, dude. Stop! Please! Don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. Ah, oh, there has to be a catch. No, no catch. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? It it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. I've no clear clue what's going on here. I agree, he deserves everything coming to him. I think you could safely say that most of Neon would agree. You know... I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. What the Everything hell is this person a talk? Skip. Tyrants like your brother eventually fall. It's inevitable. Perhaps you should just give it some time. The hell is going on? Give me the software. It's crazy to get back at your brother. Yeah, that would be nice. Indeed. The only real harm you can do to Benjamin Bayou is through his bank account. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. The hell is going the on? The passcode for my terminal is GEN-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. No shit, dude. You're a damn joke. Thanks again <laughs> for the talk. Tell them, Sarah. Tell them. What the hell was that conversation? Uh, sure. Hmm. This storyline is getting out of control. Is there anything I can still take here? Everything's free, right? I mean, I don't have inventory room, but just let's take a look. Good place to hide, go. <laughs> yep. Oh. Benjamin Bonnie's penthouse, I guess. <laughs> what? Holy Jesus! You serious? <laughs> oh. oh. Where do you need to go? Settings, Opsy. Um. Oh. Return to a still. I guess I'm in the band house. Great tower lobby. Oh! I don't see getting myself out of Neon actually without a fight. Oh, I guess that would be the second bounty I would get from Neon. Really? Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Oh god, Astro Launch, where I, is that where I need to be? I believe I need to go through a few more loading screens before I get there. Let's see if there's another loading screen in my way. No? There's just an access to the launch? No, there's more loading screens. Let's see how many. Probably four again. Oh my god. No? Who the... Oh, that's his brother. 
Ah, there you are. What kept you? I believe we have a lot to discuss. It's obvious you're here to meet someone. Fortunately for them, they rented this VIP room under a false name. I assume that same someone provided you with that clever little virus you installed into Genodyne systems. Oh, I did that. Oh, oopsie. Oh. If you know why I'm here, then you know what's at stake. All too well. You know, I should give credit where it's due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the Crimson Fleet's capabilities for granted. Oh. Oh. Getting a deal with the fleet will be cheaper than paying to remove the virus. Probably. But do you want to know why that's not going to happen? Why? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts how to get the deal done with finesse no for your kind it's only brute force and violence shoot first take whatever you want and ask questions later that's not how i do business oh my god shut up ah oh, your arrogance is astounding that's what they tell me look i'm not here to debate i'm here to make an offer all you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. You know what? I'm done. Mm. I'm done. That get me out of here. I want to kill him. Ah, oh. no, that was me. Really? That's the story you're going with. Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. Oh, yeah? I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. So, I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, oh when you get back to the key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my... Warmest regards. I'm done. I'm done playing nice. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> I really. Oh, funny, huh? The only person I can't kill. Actually, funny. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Just wow. Oh, that pisses me off. That pisses me off. I didn't even snitch on no one. I'm no snitch. Literally, they, can, they let me attack the whole goddamn UC operation, but not this single guy. Why is he important? Oh my god. Oh, this game. Some stuff in here just makes no sense. Nope, can't kill Benjamin though. Everybody else, fair game. The whole UC, sure, why not? But not Benjamin. Not Benjamin. Not this little guy. Everybody else could have killed him, not him. Because the whole factory, the whole UC mass security facility, not Benjamin though. They're too important, you know? Way too important. The Astral Lounge got you down. You're in the right place, baby. Mm hmm. Oh, god damn game. Thanks for the many loading screens you throw in my face again. Love that shit. I really need to stop hanging out. You just need to play the game more to start to enjoy it. You need to play more of the game. If you ain't in 30 hours, you're not gonna start to enjoy it. After two hours, how can you start to enjoy a game? You need to play way more of it. Then you start to enjoy the fucking game. Why the hell? Oh, that's the dude. No. 
What the hell do we get towards that goddamn room in the back? How the hell oh, there's the room? Howdy. Oh, you need to stay away. Stay way more of the game to its story to enjoy. Way more. Ah, oh, you lucky. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bay you think at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you even kill him? The nerve of that smug son of a bitch. Man is priceless. Oh, I cannot tell her that I decided to not snitch on her. He doesn't scare me. I wanted to kill him bad. You're not the least bit concerned that he found the virus and figured out where we were meeting that quickly. Must be uh, nice to be so naive. Fuck you. Oh. Oh. I got what I needed, but I'm sorry you didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point. Since Bay you flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jennerdine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. Oh, why should I put in a good word for her? Oh, you know the risk. I've been fleet for the last five years. You don't have to remind me that there's risk in what we do. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. She's Fuck right. you. Without her help, you never would have found your way into Genodyne. Nah, fuck her. I can't exit out of that. Nope, we all have problems to deal with. Well, that's just great. Yeah. I'm in debt laying low from Bayou and his brute squad, and now you're shutting me out? Delgado sure knows how to pick him. You know what? When you get back to the key, why don't you tell Delgado that I've had enough of his bullshit? I'm through. Girl, we're pissing off everybody now. Can I get you something? No, shut up. <laughs> shut Astral up. Astro Lounge, Euphorica, blah, blah, blah. I will kill both factions. <laughs> I'm done with both of them. Especially if the UC is gonna give me shit for this. Oh my god. <sighs> See you when something interesting happens. Mm. Oh, the goddamn audacity of the girl. I should have reloaded the safe and snitched her out. Wow. All hell's breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. What do you mean? Some. Oh. When is everyone, go everyone going to stop calling me a rock? I did the job, I deserve the respect. <laughs> respect? That's why you're here? Yeah. Look around you. The only reason all these losers are here is to earn credits or die trying. When I feel like you've earned it, I'll stop calling you Rook. Right now, we've got a crisis on our hands. Uh, everybody will die through my hand. That's your crisis. Hope it isn't bad. Oh, it's bad. Real bad. Delgado will fill you in with the details. Okay. Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! They figured out that I'm snitching on them. Vasco, join me. We're gonna have to go through five loading screens. Stop calling me rock. Stop calling me rock. I did all the work. Five missions. Five! Oh. Okay. I'm at the point where everybody starts pissing me off. And I hate finishing every job here with paying people off. And this goddamn stupid shit about, oh, you can't leave the Crimson Fleet, only through a body bag. And there are multiple people in every quest line that can go like, oh, I want to stop working with the fleet, I'm done. Okay, I guess that's an option now. Sure, why not? Visiting that's with the, the Crimson loading. Fleet, eh? Hmm, always a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, always a pleasure. And I'm gonna need to re I need to sell stuff right now, real quick. Oh, and I'm gonna do that. 
or the stutter. Oh wow, no stutter immediately. Just there it is. There it is. Good job, game. Good I job. I have something that will catch your eye. Yes. Phew. Oh shit, she doesn't have any money. Oh no, you won't. Need more weapons or ammo? I Come need you me. to have more cash. Hmm. Stella, 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 Stella. Tactical gear is my special. Skip. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Where's my shotgun? There. I need to Maybe off him sure right now. Have those defense batteries up and running? No, 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 no. I'm not sure. They're in bad shape, Dell. Really bad shape. I'm already using duct tape and spit to keep the station from falling apart. And you want me to pull a rabbit out of my hat? I don't want to hear excuses. I want to hear that it's going to be fixed. Period. Get it done. All right, all right. I'm on it. Oh, he's looking angry already. What? You want to quit standing there and hand over the conduction grid data? Oh, you motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> uh... Getting this wasn't easy, you know. Wow. Really? Oh, you all you die. You know what else isn't easy? Listening to complaints and excuses. That's not an excuse. Everyone. I have it right here. All right, oh, I so... get it. Just hand over the tech. Oh, you all, all right. get slapped. Listen up, because I don't want to repeat this twice. We've gotten word that UC Sysdef is massing somewhere nearby for an attack on the key. Oh, Are we prepared finally. for their arrival? I want you to head straight for Bannock 4 and bring Crix's legacy home. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's Crix. Oh. oh. How do you know that this stuff is massing for an attack? I have. A very reliable source of mast. They were so concerned that the threat was real, they actually jumped the information out to us right away. Oh, look at that. I'll prep my ship immediately. Just slow down and listen before you jump the gun and ruin everything. Oh, Lay it out, Jess. All right, first things first. I'm going to upload this data you snagged from Jennerdyne into the Keys databanks. All you need to do is build and then install a conduction grid module onto your ship. Oh, and if you haven't already, you'll need the comp spike module installed as well. While we're at it, perhaps we should fetch your groceries for you as well. Oh. Once your ship is ready, jump out to Bannock 4, board the Legacy, and bring us the cash. Yeah, right. That's gonna happen. There's gotta be a cash. Of course there's a catch. What, you thought this would be easy? Uh huh. After you board the Legacy, be on the lookout for two transfer modules. They're special keys that allow access to the ship's vault. Once you locate the vault's control center, hook up the data core I'm gonna give you, and download everything they've got. And before you get any bright ideas, like running off with the money, that currency is going to be heavily encrypted. Only a genius like Shinya will be able to crack that encryption. So bring it back here right away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. I can kind of make. Yeah? I sure hope so. Uh-huh. Look. I'm gonna make this real simple for you. Oh, please. If that money ends up anywhere but the key, I will hunt you down and pry it out of your dead hands myself. Now get moving. Try that, please. What's your biggest regarding, uh, your biggest worry regarding the upcoming attack? The toughest nut to crack is if you see Sistef brings in the vigilance. That commander Ikande has himself a hell of a ship there. Advanced shield tech, bristling with weapons. I would love to see that thing burn. If we hope to stand a chance against it, we need those defensive batteries and Crix's legacy. Oh. Who are these captains you keep mentioning? You've met some of them already. Matis Castillo, Yevgeny Rokov, Juan Dayu, Estelle Vincent, and Adler Kemp. They might feel like independence to you, but each one of them has a stake in the Crimson Fleet, and each one of them wants a cut of the wealth. I am sending word out to every able-bodied captain that they are needed. We'll see how many answer the call. Uh, okay. 
Come back with Crix's legacy. Or don't yeah, come right. at all. Why do I have to talk to her? I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Oh, mind helping with me with my ship? Not a problem. Conduction grid data is all set up in the system, so should be an easy install. Hopefully, I have no clue what I'm doing. Oh, modify my ship, please. All right, let's see what you need. You know what I need, but I don't know how to install that thing. Upgrade ship. Is that the thing? Damn it. Did I buy that? I'm confused. I'm confused. Weapon zero. Sure, I'm sure that's gonna... Is that... Did I get that done? Or did I have it up? I think I have it up. I need to get those defensive batteries online, so make this fast. Tell me. Well, you already know that the conduction grid does a pretty nifty trick. It absorbs... The version for your ship can still absorb incoming electrical energy. Like, say, the EM fields surrounding Bannock. Instead, it just scatters the EM harmlessly away from the hull. Has a nice side effect. I to Make check what the mission wants me. What does the vision, the vision, the mission want for me? Oh... I have to storm both Comspike module and the Conduction Grid module. Comspike and Conduction Grid. Comspike and Conduction Grid. I need to get those defensive batteries online. Not a problem. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Upgrade ship builder, maybe B. Add G base of landing stability, landing weapons, weapons, destructure. Oh my god, couldn't they make this easier? What the hell is this stupid thing? It's like Nova, 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 Stroud, A, eh? Crowning, I don't even know. <laughs> Look what that name. Oh my god. Shields. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's all the stuff I can't get. Should be free, right? Reactor, Stella, Herbs. Should be a mission thing. And I shouldn't have to pay for it, to be honest. Craft drives, gear, landing gear, landing gear, nope, fuel tanks, holy hell, that's a lot. Equipments, conduction grid, comes back, there it is. Now please place it on top. Places on top, I guess not. Um, color, Che. Yeah, what the hell? How do I hold? What the? Uh, G. Come spike and um, wait. Did we just throw the come spike? <laughs> Damn it! Oh, uh, no, that's something else now. So I have everything I need now. Yeah. Except hmm. kinetics, electromags, energy. Can I fast travel out of here? Probably not. 
Oh my god. Is he gonna cry me a river now? Is that the cause? Somebody needs to cry me a river for this failed mission. Why do I hell am I here? Oh wait, there is the next system ready to attack. I'm probably gonna need to make the mission, get the mission done, and hopefully I can even raid them. Would be stupid if I can't help with the raid. Yeah, see ya. God damn loading screens. God damn loading screens. All support oh. ships have arrived, Commander. I guess now I'm the, the table. After we're done here, arrange a briefing. Indeed. I want all, all of their CEOs deck. over here as soon as Besides, possible. We're about to go to yes, sir. Fleet. Do you want to be anywhere else but here? Um... Remember to turn in any evidence fragments you find. Next mission. Let me know okay. if you need anything else. So. There you are. I'm going to make this short and simple. I work best I've received the reports about that stunt you pulled on Neo. <laughs> you opened fire inside Genadine, a civilian facility. This is completely unacceptable. Are you out of your mind? Oh, do I actually have to kill both of them? I got the job done. Part of your job was keeping those people back on Neon alive. Whether they're guilty or not wasn't up to you to decide. Which oh, means you it. will follow my orders and do exactly what I say. No. I've tried to be patient with you. But my patience and your time with Sisdev is at an end. What? You're under arrest. I expect you to follow Lieutenant Toff to the brig peacefully. Or else we'll have to use lethal force. Do Everybody's you dead. Everybody's dead. Oh, to hell with this. God, stop them! To hell with this! Please, damn it! No share. No share, wrong button. Let's boost ourselves up. It's over. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Ah. Damage resistance. Movement speed. Damage resistance. Restores for health. Sandwich. Everybody dies. It's over. Damage and health was the heart. They had stolen too. Perfect. Everybody dies. It's gonna be a light show. A stutter ribbon at that. Oh, where do I have ammo? That gun, that's an auto zoom gun, anyways. Blades! Oh, I'm here! Oh, broken! I am listening! It's absolutely freezing here! Oh, I do not recommend extended exposure without. Oh. 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 Okay, turrets. Nine. I think that. That thing ain't dead. Indeed, stay down indeed. I'm gonna arrest you. Still alive here a lot. Commander's smartest move. Not the commander's smartest move. <coughs> oh, gee. where did you come from and why did Sarah not kill you? 
We can still... Um... No, I don't need all of that. I'll take the ammo gladly. With tick picks. Well, I suppose they're not going to need it anymore. Who would have thought it would end like that? Ha! <laughs> they, they, they can't even die. They can't even die. What the hell is still shooting around here? I will have to evac immediately. Probably my good boy on the leaf here. Oh, that's that. That good boy, I mean the robot. There is no enemy nearby. Resume yeah, there's wandering. Tell him Vasco. Was that Vasco or was that another machine? Hey, it's eight, nothing, seven. There we go. Oh, there's my boy. He's a good boy. Let's see how this is gonna end. I'm not playing along anymore. It's over. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. I'm not getting a typical ending for this mission. Oh. Oh, we're getting a long loading screen. Can I just fast travel out of here? That would be nice. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Stood up. Ah, fuck you, Professor, for designing that that badly. I don't even want to join any side. Okay. Guess this is going to be weird. Is that course R? Oh. Okay. Oh damn it. I can't even go there. Ugh. Okay, I can just fast travel out of here. Oh wait, I'm here. The hell is this? Um just space loot here that I won't care about. Craft core and up oh, stood up, stood up, stood up, stood up. Oh, Map. <laughs> yeah, makes a lot of sense. Oh, the grave. Grave jump is up. Stood up. Ah, oh, I don't know how this mission is gonna end now. Switching over to standard engines. Burnick. Map. What does the map tell me? Anything else here? Portugal Bank Legacy. Okay. Seems like everything is going smoothly so far. Besides my energy and my craft core being completely gone. Oh god, it just moves around wonky if you don't have everything on your keyboard and mouse. Can I just fast travel there quickly? Or do I need to navigate through here? It's not too far away, let's go there. Now let's put more energy in here. I need to upgrade my boosters, I see. My ship is slow and heavy. Ouch. Talk. Talk, 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 talk. Every time I don't record the docking mechanism or cutscene, it just glitches. Glad it works now. Like so what's on the ship then? What's on this ship then? Oh. Pop, 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 pop. 
bro. They have such a big bald D on my head. Right now with everybody. Doesn't even matter anymore. Lovely loading screen. Can't wait for the second one. Because this ship will be full of loading screens. Oh, so you need to go through. Stutter, stutter, stutter. And I don't think they're gonna ever fix that with updates. Warning. An emergency lockdown is in effect. Captain. Hello. Look at I am satisfied to see that Wait, you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Trapped. Hello. Look at that. You survived your most recent sleep cycle. Yep. I didn't sleep in a long time. Hitman drum bait. Oh, what do I have a lot of ammo for? Not an um, arc world, I'm sure. I wanted to sell that thing anyways because it's not that good. Eight. Sure, I gotta have some stuff here that their emergency kit. Let's take the stolen one. Oh, it doesn't take the stolen one. Oh, that's funny. Good. Let me guess, open door. Arrest this man, he said. Arrest this man. Ah. Oh. What a smart guy. Yep. Just arrest this man who murdered himself through two facilities. Oh no. No, I don't have the patience for you. Don't have the patience. It's a fun gun to use. Won't be used there. I'm not taking that. Let's just get this mission done. So I can kill everybody afterwards. Brew recording oh, initiated. I just you wanted you to know here. I placed a conversation in your record, Aguilar. Thanks, Sarah. Really? Why would you? Ah! Take it easy, Doc. I like to keep the arm, you know? Sorry. Sorry. This field dressing is the best you're going to get away from a hospital. Captain's right, though. You saved our asses, big time. You're the reason that we're having this conversation right now. Warning. That was a hell of a shot you were doing in battle. This isn't necessary, Captain. I was only doing my part to keep us alive. Oh my god, Aguilar, take the compliment already. They had us on the ropes, shields down, well, engines down, escorts destroyed, then you destroyed. hop on the one lousy gun we have on this crate. I'm not some kind of hero. We were just lucky, okay? Please. Listen. Everybody talk over each other. Losing Trembly back there was hard. And that both of you were very close. But we have to move on. And survive. That's easy for you to say. You still have Kilner. Everyone knows the two of you are together. <sighs> oh my god, what is this conversation? You want to know the truth? Fine. Yes, we're together. But that's got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's this soap opera I'm shit. Of my crew and I'm trying to keep the rest of us alive and in good spirits while I figure a way out of this mess. So I'm sorry if I've offended you. Hope the arm feels better. Captain, come back. I... Not good, Aguilar. Not good at all. That's some soap opera <laughs> level writing here. Crew recording terminated. I don't oh. stock up on junk. What are you shooting at? Bring it on. Warning. My sensors are picking up. I am engaging the enemy. Oh we? Well, that means quite a I bunch on him. System failure. I will have to sell that gun. Radiation leak. I know. Uh, out of the way. Hold on. I'm not gonna pick up any more audio logs. They're just 
<laughs> unbearable to listen to. Okay. Beginning combat protocol. I need some grenades. I don't have an MP grenade, right? Um, or do have something that's better for radiation? No, I don't think so. Nope. Throw ball, scrap. Oh, got them shrapnels. Oh boy. Get down. Massive. Not gonna last much longer. Oh yes, shotgun shells, perfect. I can't help you, girl. And I'm standing in the way. I'm on a roll! <laughs> Let's just hurry on through here. fight here hmm. seriously oh my god I'll have to cheat my way through here again again oh there's probably a security card somewhere around right right game Jesus Christ! I didn't even see that I'm dying. Thanks, Sarah. Hmm. And that's the official way. So used to exploding robots. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Fallout. Repair not possible. But kill ya. I'm just automatically staying away. You're through. The hell is a mag pulse? Oh yeah, that's the gun that oh, Math is picked up. Crazy thing. No. Oh no. Safe. I hate the lock picking. God, this shit is looking boring as hell. Oh my god. Here. Oh, that's kind of a shotgun. Oh, mind. Hostiles in range. Are we? Got another one. Repair. 
That's a funny gun. Jump down, please. Yeah. I'm sure they had something we can use. Yeah, I'm all. I'm all. That's what they had. Please, no expert lock. That terminal. That's a big goddamn server room. Hostiles in range. What? Why did I scan? I catastrophic damage. You're done. Total system failure. Switching to a new target. I am unable. Repair not possible. Give me got them quest item. Yes. Well, got it. They're giving me tougher fighting than the UCI security. I was on the other side. Oh, why did I take that? Is this Jasper Cricks? Did he get this close? Only to be trapped oh, here that. like the Legacy's crew. Well now, let's see. Another day's gone by. What's it been now? Six weeks? Who the hell knows? Food packs for my ship are gone, so it looks like the clock's running down for me, and Issa wins. What a clever woman. I never saw it coming. I mean, I can't blame her. I was stupid enough to hand her the opportunity. Now the fleet's resting on her shoulders. I only hope she doesn't run the whole operation right into the ground. <sighs> anyway, let me just sit down in this chair. message 
tell Issa that I don't blame her for what she's done. Most important, tell her to keep the fleet strong. Crew recording terminated. Oh, this is law. Okay. Oop. That's one more audio log. And that's what we need to listen to. Crew recording initiated. Son of a bitch! Nothing. Complete waste of time. Warning. How I tried everything I can possibly think of and I ended up right where I started. Oh, here I thought I was so clever. Thought I had it all figured out. <gasps> First, fix my ship and get the prototype shielding back online. Second, shunt the power from the cred tank array back to the system to drain the credits. And then third, haul ass back to my ship before the EM field rips apart the legacy. Three easy steps, right? Only problem is, I'm stuck at step one. Every system on my ship is dead, and there's nothing aboard this ship to use for repairs. I can't believe I came all this way just to end up stuck here like the poor bastards who ran this ship. <sighs> Actually, wait a second. Isa. Isa will figure it out. I, I told her where I was going for a reason. She's smart. She'll, she'll know something's up when I miss the rendezvous. After all, we're supposed to split the loot. All I have to do is sit tight and wait until she figures out that something's gone wrong. Then she'll come here looking for me. <laughs> In the meantime, I should uh, start rationing my food. <laughs> I could be waiting for a while. Crew recording terminated. Bunch of switches to pull. Oh, this actually takes that long. Now what we're we gonna do with that thing? Get out of here then. And turn the lights Thank back on. Power. We need to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Do I have a flashlight button or is it just gonna stay black? Oops. Okay, there we go. Multiple wow. voltages detected. Structural integrity failing. Immediate evacuation recommended. Okay, let's go. Can I go through here? Let's go, Sarah. I'm saying that it doesn't store though right now. A short way out. I don't see one. I am engaging the enemy. Oh yeah, that's gun rocks. I am unable. Repair not possible. Total system. Oh failure. yeah. That gun rocks. That doesn't look like a way out. Stair, stair. I don't quite know where I'm going. Yeah, no crap. <laughs> I got it. 
Split damn it. Oh, where's the door then? I'm getting poisoned here. Located I can't see crap. I. Catastrophic damage. That's cool though. And it's insane that this part doesn't start off on me. Massive damage. All systems. Really? Come on, tell me there's a better way. Oh shit. Massive damage. I don't think there's a better way than this. Well, I will fail at this. Rest assured. So I hate how this works. Hey. Hey. Absolutely no sense. I hate this puzzle. Switch this over, tick picks. What up? Yes. People are probably getting mad at me for failing there. But I can't help it. I still don't know how the bus is supposed to work. It's just the worst thing ever in my opinion. Seriously, man. How do you want from me? Okay, we're done. Warning. Structural integrity failing. Recommend evacuation immediately. I hate lock picking, and they don't give you another option. That's using lock picks. It's not like you can see a lot in this part too. Like literally the hollow. I'm gonna die before I get out. I can see, I can see. No! Don't tell me again. Not again, dude. Okay. The hell is this goddamn maze? It was in the red. Oh, yep, stop peeping at me. And let's sleep it off. Beep, beep, beep. Look at my goddamn health bar. And my glitchy ass. Oh, god 
sterben lassen. Mein Gott, der Opfer. Oh, let's sleep off all those radiation points. I need a red X in a right away immediately. Had a good sleep? It's, yeah, I slept off radiation poisoning. Okay, what does the quest want me to do now? Escape the legacy. Can I just... Nope. Need to do that manually. 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 Hey there. Can you remember? What's up, dude? Patch. Let's escape. Suit. Oh. Is that a stutter? No, it's a slight stutter, eh? I don't know if they even have an exploding nice cutscene. Yeah! Very clean indeed. What the hell is that in front of me? Is that the legacy exploding? Can I actually loot that thing? Oh. No, don't shoot by it. Damn it. Okay. Cargo hole full. Now I must be capable of going out of here. Ah. Of course. <laughs> they don't give me any other options. We'll see how that turns out. Yeah, gravity. Craft drive. Ah. Don't see any other options here. So we're gonna try that. Ah. Do -do 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 -do. Please don't take forever. Damn game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Smooth jump. Nice work. Okay. Yes, it's. Yes, we're already having us. Side decided. Well then. I'm not hitting my targets. Say goodbye to the fleet. Taking fire, requesting support. They've lost grab jump capability. Target's shields are offline. You took out tagged their grab drive. You took out their jump. Their shield system is damaged. Their grab drives down. Enemy's shield system is offline. Target's to <laughs> switch off guns. I need to switch off guns. Is everybody dead? You are not setting one goddamn foot in here. Okay. Get your ass aboard. We need to talk now. Uh, hell. Talk. Oh, this is kind of weird in every way. The inconsistency I've heard about it, but I never knew it's that bad. And we're locked in. Oh god, in Skyrim a little bit of every faction was kind of likable and doable and playable right here. Nobody's, nobody's winning me over. Nobody's. 
no side out of the two is winning me over with this one. I kind of want to kill both of them. Ah. Burp, burp, burp. That's gonna be weird to explain. Oh yeah. Admit, this is exactly what I pictured a haven for pirates to look like. We're the pirate king. All right, don't stand there looking stupid. Everything's going to hell, and Delgado needs you in operations. Thanks for yelling at me immediately. Oh, looks like sister finally decided to show up. Oh yeah, you think? No. Ikande is throwing everything he's got at us, but we're planning on pushing his sorry ass all the way back to Jemison. That is, unless you want to keep standing here talking while the vigilance puts its crosshairs on us. Ah. Oh. F you, all of you. The you all can go to hell. All of you. <gasps> ah. If there's a choice where I can pick, I'm taking everything for myself. Screw you all. I'm taking that. Even though I don't think that's a possibility. They didn't give you a third option. Mm, there's no yes man option for this one. Sorry. Duh. I don't think I can go to New Atlantis. I'm probably so bounty heavy. Neon bounty heavy. This quest line completely ruined the main story for me. Ah, uh, oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the full whole way. Another elevator arrive. I don't know if you've heard, but Sis Death decided to pay us a little visit. No shit. No, no, why? Neova is getting angry at us. Because everybody keeps probably saying that. What the hell is that? This is oh. life, right? <gasps> the hell was that gasp? Is that it? That is Grix's legacy? Dios mio. I, I can't believe it's right here. Jazz, fire up the analyzer. Can you confirm? It's true. You were right all along, Del. You know, there were moments. Doubts. I almost stopped believing it was real. That I was chasing ghosts. But then came that day on Subaruf, and everything changed. And now, here it is. Grix's legacy. Our future. Of that, there can be no doubt. Oh, what's that option? Oh, with good financial planning, we could secure the fleet's future of generations. I get what you're saying, but we're not gonna be bankers. These funds will go to weapons, ships, and boots on the ground. Now, only one thing stands in our way. The vigilance. Speak of the devil. Not Jazz, we'll what is the situation? That. Looks like Ikande is starting to move. Typical sea stiff. The sharks are so bloodthirsty, they won't even give us time to bask in the moment. Oh. You can hardly blame the man. After all, his worst fears just came to light. It's on fault. <coughs> oh god, though, all of those options are stupid. Oh my god. Oh, Nene, you very helpful. Really wiped your sister's first wave. I saw that. Hell of a job. But this is just the beginning. Oh. Those first few Sistev ships were only scouts, trying to confuse us and probe our defenses. Which means they're playing it smart. They're gonna try to take out our defensive batteries before bringing in their big guns. The batteries are the only thing we have with enough electromagnetic firepower to punch through the Vigilance's hardened shielding. We lose those batteries, we lose everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, my ship doesn't have that. Oh, 
Well, then there's little time to waste. Exactly. Jazz, lay the plan out for us. We're gonna hold the fort here while you hop back into your bird and head for those defensive batteries. For optimal firing coverage, we're keeping them far from the key and each other. So you'll have to jump to each one individually. You see any Sistev ships get within pissing distance of the batteries? You take them out. In the meantime, we'll secure Crix's legacy here and have Shinya begin cracking the encryption right away. Oh, I hate it. I think Crix's legacy will be safer with me. I don't care what you think. Now that the <laughs> legacy is here, I'm not letting it slip through my fingers. Receiving a cut of those credits is the only thing that is convincing the fleet's captains that it's worth risking their own lives to defend the key. Hey, if it's any help, you can count on one hell of a party when you get back. Mm -hmm. Amen, Jazz. Once the batteries are online, we will start our attack of the Vigilance. We'll tear apart the shields, board the ship, and bring Ikande to his knees. Okay, I like that. Works for me. Then you have your orders. Oh, and one last thing before you go. In preparation for the attack, Ikande arrested some of our people. While you're aboard the Vigilance, you might want to spring them from the brig. All right, that's it. If you have any questions, now's the time. Otherwise, good luck. No, I'm ready to finish it. Hey, no, no fires. What, I've got your back. Oh, what a friend. <laughs> that is God. That is God. One spit it is hit us. He has my back, and the other is gone. Oh, I'll see you when the action begins. I could sell stuff in the meantime. Yeah. Somehow my ship picked up this gun. That's the first time I saw something like that. That's another pistol. That's weird. Space fight. If that's boring as hell, I'm like um, just gonna skip ahead. Oh, Juan is here. We've, blo we've blown out their grab drive. We tagged their grab drive. Everybody, please talk over each other. Oh, don't shoot the friendlies. You two enemy targets jump. Ground. Enemies jump. <laughs> They're not jumping out of here. A blink established. Boom. Beginning repairs on Gamma Battery. Let's see Wait. how he can be like that. That was it. Huh. Holy Jesus Christ, was that easy? Okay. So basically, you have to fast travel to each location. No, not like that. Not like that. Damn it. Damn it, game. There. Can probably fly. Maybe I don't even know. Ah, that stuff ain't that interesting. Nice audio glitches. Where's on the... again, are we? Well, I still got your back. Oh, whoa, got room for a third at the party? Who the hell do you think's doing all the heavy lifting here anyway? That was just mean. Targets lost their shield. Targets they lost grab jump capability. Enemies they lost all propulsion. Enemies shield gone. Thanks, Sarah. You're not getting away from me. Am I now? I need to upgrade my guns. Enemies grab you. Tagged their grab. Ha! <laughs> then you fried their engines. Full engine loss on target. All right, I've got a connection. Battery Alpha online. Nice work, but we are not out of the woods yet. Oh, just the woods. Nah, lost. Nope. Okay, I guess I'll show you all of that. It's quick. Just for my ship to be seen in that cutscene. Mm. Masame. Hmm. Oh boy, okay. Is down. Must have knocked something loose. 
Buy me some time to do a remote fix, will ya? Damn it. Good night! You took out the enemy. We've blown out their grav drive. Enemy's jump drive is offline. Enemy's grav mm. drive disabled. Their grav drive's down. Enemy's shield grid is fried. Damn it. I can't hear the damn thing with that gun. The Crimson fleet is done. Is it nay? Damn you. I hate space fights. And my slow guns. You've taken target's engines are down. Tar target's jump system down. Oh boy. Enemies grab drive out of commission. Take out the hostile. They've lost grab jump. They enemies grab drive disabled. Their shields are gone. Ballistic guns on to bad. Enemies propulsion systems offline. Or behind me. Got you in my sights. We've blown out their <laughs> They're not there. They're due to their end. Enemy's shield system is offline. Whoa. Hang on a sec. Dell, reading multiple contacts here. And one very pissed off flagship. All right. This is it. All ships fall back. Defend the key. Let me loot that one thing. But where oh, where the hell do you want me to go now? Okay, yep. Fast travel. Big space battle. In three, two. That's gonna take forever. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What a saving good. Contact That's what I need to see. Isn't he gonna blow the cover on us? Get right in. Holy Jesus Christ, she has a lot of shields. Weapons have no effect. Okay. Come on. Defensive batteries are ready to unleash hell, but I can't get a clear shot. All ships, don't waste your time on the vigilance. Take out those escorts. Down, pirate. Attach their grab drive. It's gonna take more than that to stop us. It's like there's a lot of action here. Oh boy. I got through my shield. Jump system down. Time for a little target practice. Is that the big boy? I believe so. You want to mess with the fleet? Let's go. Uh, so much to see here, and I have no clue what's going on there. We got a ship in front of us. 
Enemies grab drive. Enemies grab drive out of commission. Oh, it's just a bad boy. Target has lost its engines. Oh, more enemies coming. Enemies jump drive is offline. You don't know who you're messing with. Please, is that your best shot? I've got you Holy space card. bottle. Jump capability. Tag their grab drive. Enemy's jump drive is offline. Enemy's jump drive is offline. You took out uh, their jump drive. Enemy's grab drive. You took out their jump targets. Thanks, Sarah. Our grab jump system's fried, Captain. Enemy's shields are back online. Had enough? We've blown out their grab drive. Holy Jesus Christ. Oops. Oh, they did a breast photo mode there. Why the hell? No, oh, no. I'm gonna rip your ship to shreds! Uh, it's getting wrecked. Their grab drives down. Their shields are gone. Take them out. Enemies shield grid. Targets jumps. Enemies grab drive disabled. Ha! They've lost grab jump capability. You took out their jump drive. You tagged their grab drive. There's so many goddamn ships still alive. I believe. Grab drive is down. That's the big boy. That's the smaller one. How many ships do they want to waste? Evasive maneuvers! We've blown out their grab drive. Enemies grab drive disabled. You don't know who you're messing with! Oh, close to the big boy. There are more ships. You're dust. Holy Jesus Christ, they're firing heavy on me. No, no boarding mission. Should have upgraded my goddamn ship beforehand. Damn. Enemy shields gone. Target's jump system down. Target's jump system. We've taken out their shields. Enemy's jump drive is offline. Target's lost their shields. Enemy's grab drive. Their grab drive's down. Oh, I can't be too much left. Okay. Looks clear, Jazz. Take the shot! Locking onto the vigilance now. Come on, you useless piece of... Locked in! Firing! Doing all right? As far as I'm concerned, you just sit back and let old Mathis take care of these ships. Your shields are down! Hit it with everything you've got! Grab the line! Good luck with that. Oh, dang, the second wave here. Oh boy, my ship is getting wrecked. Nope, that's bad now. Fuck me. No! No, 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 no. Please give me an auto save. Skip. Skip, skip. I did not get an autosave. Oh, I hate it that I had to play this again. All captains, board that ship immediately. The vigilance is our fleet. I want her intact. I'm gonna ram it. Normally this cuts in always start out. Not, not this time. Fuck you for calling me Rook. Solid docking job there. Nice work. Oh. Oh. oh, I'm not happy with this.
solution to this quest line. Not at all. Not at all. Still up, still up, still up, still up. Oh, I can't be probably gonna give me a speech to now. But he needed to get all bitchy with me. I complain. You killed innocent people, Neon. Even though we could have infiltrated the Garden Crimson Fleet four missions ago. But the big payday that they would have gotten. Look at I all wanted of that this. for myself. You see, Sister certainly isn't taking the Crimson Fleet threat lightly. All defensive stations, drive them back! Stoda, 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 stoda. God damn stutterary. Don't let them through. Uh. Scratch one over here. Uh. Good, Nobody in prison here. Oh my god. I'm gonna give this one shot. Let's start here. Mm, I hate I hate it. I can't I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't. Oh god it worked this time. Still don't know what to do. Almost. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Well done. Screw this. I mean, we're getting the shit, uh, shit anyways. Shouldn't even matter if we release them or not. Oh my god. Stupidity. I need a better gun for that. Good, uh, good, good catch, go. Cool. Good catch. Seven hundred. Oh, we ain't done yet. Fire on him. Stood up. The hell is that thing even? Fires. Yo, 
want to mess with a Crimson Fleet pirate? Oh, <laughs> Robotic Spay reports critical failure. All systems offline. What are I going to do? Okay. Someone else needed to open it. Well, you decided to drop in. What took you so damn long? I'm gonna shut you up. Upstairs. I just want to get through that. God, this ship is ugly to look at. Oh my god. Oh my god. Need a little help? Hey, one of my favorites at least. Right grenade credits. Stutter. Oh, oh, too much stutter. With that gun, that's the number one stutter gun. That thing didn't do so badly. It's compromised. No, for the mode. Why? Stutter. That's why I don't go into fights like that. Literally unplayable. Now where do I need to go? I need why why should I speak with her? Oh 
Why? Should I speak with her? Why, hey? What's up? Well, that's that. We still make one hell of a team. Yeah, come to my crew. No, actually, so you knew in a firefight before I'm impressed. When there's money on the line, I think you'll find that I'm full of surprises. You just wash your ass. It Ikande's out for blood. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I need a better gun. I mean, that gun is amazing, but I don't have much ammo left. Oh, 100 shots there. And a quick save. Oh, stupid I can't uh, Turning his bag on me. Primary life support. Oxygen at twenty point five percent and falling. You won't get <coughs> that gun rocks. Might as well take what we can. Mm-hmm. That ship is so big. This is Come commanding. Get them. All hands, abandon ship. I repeat, abandon ship. You coward. Hey, dude, what's up? Mm -hmm. Talk, you fool. You realize that there is no way I'm going to allow the vigilance to fall into oh the my hands God. of the Crimson Fleet. Why are you even bothering to talk? We should drop this asshole right now. You idiot. Lower your weapon, Jillian. Are you out of your mind? Why? It would be pointless. Yeah, I have activated the vigilance's self-destruct. It won't be long before this ship and everyone who remains aboard are going to be incinerated. Oh, you're stalling for time. I am not doing anything. You think I am the one causing this to happen? The destruction of this vessel and the deaths of everyone aboard falls on your shoulders. Whatever caused you to side with these lawless pirates, <laughs> I hope it was worth it. Oh, it's your stupidity. Oh, oh god damn, there's not even a good oh, option here. That's none of your business, I guess. <sighs> I'd hope to give me some insight. Some re oh, shut up, let's just skip this. Oh, against this. I'm going to cancel that self destruct myself. If this is how you want it to end, then so be it. Oh my god. Take him down. Do whatever it takes. Good job, team. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, the other Marebo. Massive damage. Ah, oh, you just didn't need to piss in my direction. Was that so difficult? What is still alive here? Do you have a good gun on you? Nope. Um... God, I hate that mission. There. 
That was very difficult. Not all right, looks clear. Secure the area. Lock it all down. No. Damn. I guess we missed the party. Oh my it god. It looks like you blew out every last candle, Rook. What did you call you me? What did you call anyway, me? Anyway, we secured this ship. It was pretty easy once all the Marines took off. Oh my god. Shut up. Shut up. Hi, Vasco. Hello, Captain. Oh my god. This is not how I wanted this to end. Not how I wanted this to end. And I'm definitely not gonna re ever replay that mission. There's no satisfaction in finishing that. Oh. Stood up, stood up, stood up. Done. That took way too long for such a not satisfying end. Holy shit. Oh, that's such a goddamn long mission. That's just fast travel. And Sarah didn't even complain. Guess she was definitely on my side with how bad both those options were. Okay. Already, what? Okay. Vasco just glitching right in front of us. Blocking the way. It's always a good day when we get the job. Oh, Just need to get to the key probably. For those free loading screens and docking sequences. All green on release. We're free to fly. Yeah. Where's the key? I'm just gonna bump into that thing in the meantime. The key is even bigger. Poor Frollo. Damn, this mission is stupid. We have a clean dock. Right on the money. God. Being the bad guy seems like the more fun thing to do. One of two answers. Oh. <laughs> no. No, I don't know. See, she wanted to lock me up into prison. And he's wondering why I betrayed them. Hmm, interesting. Exposed wires here, a little rust there. What a unique way to Last decorate. Oh, fuck off, call me Rook. I don't even have enough ammo to kill everybody on board, I believe. But I can try. God, I guess I'm with the Crimson Fleet now. Oh. Yay. I don't know where that loading screen always takes forever. Always. Oh, what a glitch. God damn. The, the. I definitely won't finish this game, by the way, if you're wondering. I will choose another playthrough that comes out this month. I'm gonna head over I believe the game is called Things Witchfire on Epic Store. Do that. But this game is and will be abandoned for something that 100% will work smoother. Gotta hand it to you. You really won this one for us. Just like Befend, Befender, Befesta is abandoning and repairing this game. Okay. Take cover. 
What the hell just... <laughs> what the hell is going on? Why is she here? What just happened? Oh, what just happened? Would they start shooting her when she gets up again? That makes no sense. You son of a bitch, you did it! You actually pulled it off! Mm. Didn't I tell you, Dale? I told you there was something different about this rook. Oh my god, Nave. You're so full of shit. What? I just call it like I see it, Jazz. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I, I seem to remember your rant about that lousy rook and how you were gonna off that loser and take their ship. No? Shut up, Jazz. Both of you, cut the crap and let me talk. All right, look. I'm terrible at this crap, so I'm going to spare all of us the stupid speeches and make this short. Mm. When I took over around here, things were looking grim. We were hanging on by a thread. The only thing that kept the fleet intact was the promise that I'd find Crix's legacy and put us back on top. At the time, I was full of shit. I didn't know how the hell I was going to make that happen. And as the years passed, my words started to wear. We lost a lot of good people because they thought Dale was chasing ghosts. She's right. That thread I was talking about, it frayed. Badly. But when you found that recording on Suvorov, the hunt reignited. You gave us the courage we needed to hold fast. Now that his legacy is where it belongs, we can become the pirates Crix always meant us to be. Thanks to you. The struggle over Crix's legacy came at the expense of far too many lives. It's tragic that greed and desperation ruled the day. The fuck is going on here? Oh my god. Oh, that's the only question I'm having. Does this mean sister is done for? <laughs> yeah, you wish. Nope. Unfortunately, neighbor's right. This is a setback for the United Colonies. But now that the vigilance is gone and Ikande is out of the running, they're not going to just forget we exist. It's only a matter of time before they try and cook up some new scheme to come after us. Except this time, we'll be ready for them. Oh, I don't tell them I was a crook, a rat. Oh, the things I need is my cut now. Well, well. You've certainly learned to fit right in. What? No extra cut for the humble mechanic that made all of this possible? Oh my god, lady, give us a break. All right, let's get down to business. You want your money, and you're going to get it. A lot of it. How much? Oh. It better be the largest cut, to be honest. See, now you're starting to sound like me. Next thing I know, you'll be trying on my clothes. Won't look as good in them, though. Uh, you better not be flirting, because I might get jealous. Aww. Okay, okay, let's get this done. Before you head out and get drunk at the Nova, I want you to remember one thing. The fleet always comes first. There are still jobs to run, things to steal, and places to wreck. So celebrate, get wasted, then get back out there and make us some money. Got it. Fleet first, America second. Ah, oh, time to hey, end this. Hey, there's my favorite walking cred stick. Oh, damn. You headed out? <laughs> Gotta get busy spending your fortune, huh? I'll take you onto my ship. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm ready for change of scenery. That makes two of us. Life in the space lanes is going to be a hell of a good time with all this cash in me pocket. Say, speaking of which, how'd you feel about making this partnership of ours more permanent? That's the only good make thing. Real waves in the settled systems if we put our heads together. And traveling together is a hell of a lot safer. If we now can get one, I'm definitely aboard. I like the sound of that. Ooh, you're welcome on my crew. I knew you'd see it my way. This will work out just fine. But don't expect me to get excited about taking orders. I'm in this for the cash. 
Oh, yes. We got a crew, ladies and gentlemen. Leave it sure. to me. I've got your back, pal. Good. Sure. We will need that right now because we have plans here. Oh, do, 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 600. No, 300. That's good against aliens. 300. Robots, damn it. Friendless, worthless. 600. Worthless gun. Worthless. That's not the best gun either. Anyways. Yeah, anyways. Who else is here that I don't know? All that time piloting a luxury liner didn't soften my skills. Don't care about him. When you joined him. Up, things were bad. It felt like half the fleet wanted out. Where's now, Juan? Every thief banned that Juan? backwater smuggler wants it. Nope. You shooting at ghosts now? Get it over. I can't be a part of this. <laughs> oh now you care for the pirates. Of course. I'm gonna take you down. Oh. Oh, there's one. Oh, I killed that. Let's load. No, we don't want that. That's the last thing I want. I'm gonna talk to one and you. The other three girls, two girls, and then I'm done here. Then I'm done here. Then it's all over. Okay. Oh, it's good to be back. Now that we've got the legacy, I might work. Catch you later. Okay, that's one done. Well, that's that. This little beauty isn't. Okay, that's done. Come on. I really have to spell this out for you. A child would understand. No engineering means no grab drive. No grab drive means no grab jump. This. We'll talk later. Thank you. That was some battle. I've got goose pimples. I Stopping this death is going to bring a lot more attention. But with the credits from the legacy, we can make those people look the other way. What's your role at the moment? I'll probably stick to gathering intel. All the yo-ho-ho -ho and other pirate bluster isn't my style. But that doesn't mean I won't drink a pint with my fellow swashbucklers to celebrate our victory. Most days, though, I prefer a cup of tea. Oh, I'm gonna get you one. Do you plan on staying at the K? I think so. I figure my new Atlantis contacts are all burnt now that the fleet are in the headlines. For now, the plan is to stay here, build some connections, and maybe in a few years I'll get back into the smuggling business. But the ship still works, so if you ever need to hitch a ride, me and my crew would be happy to oblige. Got a gigantic ship. I am not surprised that you don't want to join me. Okay, we're done here. Yeah, I Until can't we meet again. anymore. I'm done. So uh, why the hell do I have a quest marker? What does it want from me? The audition? Nope. 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 I don't care about anything anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with the game. The only thing I want to do is survey a planet. Store the Crimson Fleet, kill the Barret Rover. Ah, it's, it's all worthless. I don't care, I don't care, the game is over. It's not that good. Sure, we're done, we're done. Peace out. I don't know how much more content there will be. Ugh. Ugh.